Episode with your favorite ladies from Petty Party Podcast. It's your girl Jess Nick checking in. Hey y'all, it's your girl Amakalette coming out the cell. What's good? Hey y'all, it's your girl Crystal, aka Champagne Chris, aka Chris F. Baby, please say the baby. Hey guys, it's your girl Jory Alia. And hey welcome. y'all, it's your girl Michelle, aka Egypt if you nasty. What it welcome do, to the party. What it welcome do. to the party. How's party. everyone doing? Great. Doing awesome. Great. Beautiful day, actually. No, it feels really good outside today. It's so crazy. It's so, week, Spider actually. and I were talking about it walking in, but like he was saying, how like a lot of people are coming in for uh, the solar eclipse, and I thought mm -hmm. that you could see that everywhere. I didn't realize it was only like you can only see it from certain oh, states. Oh, that, that's that. why everybody. Um, it's a lot like, of people are off on Monday. Oh, yeah, so a lot wow. of people are coming into Texas because Texas is going to be like a hot spot. For I it. did not know that. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that did y'all? So y'all didn't get any glasses? No, I knew the solar eclipse no. was no, you coming. Know I didn't know you can only see it from Texas. No, not only Texas. I think we were. It was like a belt. It was like a belt. That's exactly. He was saying it was like starting kind of like in Ohio and like working its way down mm -hmm. and like ending in Texas. Yeah. So what is the solar mm -hmm. eclipse going to look like? It's like, like a red moon. A salt, like you know how um it's gonna be black. It's gonna be like black. It's gonna, it's gonna be a. It's gonna be a black, and it's gonna be like complete because we've only had like a half or like a quarter mm -hmm. eclipse, and then a full one only comes around. I don't know some some like three hundred fifty years. years. Wow. Yeah. Dang. So it's supposed to be a really big deal. That's crazy though. Yeah. Catching a flight for that is. That, I mean, I feel. Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. it's feel. like once Earth. in a lifetime. You know, how long does it last of, though? Isn't it like very quick? It's four, I, it's gonna be four minutes. They said. I think it's four minutes. Oh. Yeah. Do they know what time? It's 1.40 or 12, 12 around 12 to 1. At night? No, p.m. During the day. That's the reason why it's going to be really cool because it's going to be black. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. I'm ready to see a you black moon. You must have uh, shipped a whole bunch of uh, glasses to our house. My dad called Really? Me me. Wait, mm -hmm. can you, you bring me one? <laughs> well, I don't know how much it is. I don't know how many she's sent. I need one. Yeah, they're actually like making a lot of like advisories like don't look at the sun I mean, which yeah. I feel like people are still gonna do so it people are easily gonna do it <laughs> but my eye doctor sent me an email saying um, they had free solar glasses too so a lot of places that's, that's contact good my eye doctor cause yeah well yeah so we'll get back to y'all I hope y'all are watching it because they should have already watched it by now it should be uh, Wednesday yeah. so it's two oh, days yeah, after the yeah. eclipse so the moon was black two days oh, let us know if we boost it cause a lot of people <laughs> say it's gonna be partly cloudy anyway so they was like we barely gonna be cloudy yeah, mm -hmm. hopefully, you know. I hope we get to see it. I wonder mm -hmm. if people are gonna like be up in the air, like on a like oh on a planes. Plane. Oh, that'd like be kind of cool. I oh, love that. That is scary. I love it be kind of scary to be honest. Like, the pilot started see? seeing something in that black. I feel like they would time it like ground planes during it or something. Right. I don't know if that's gonna affect much, guys. No, I don't like, think it. But they're taking it very they're seriously. Taking like it very, very. Like um, a lot of people are like let people off of work. Like they're expecting like a lot of traffic. It's supposed to be like super I know. I, was supposed to say, I don't feel like it's gonna affect planes. I don't think it will. I think they would just ground it just for the simple idea of like you know how sometimes you have like no flight. Yeah, because if you times. can't look, because think about it, if you can't look directly into it, what if you up in a plane and a pilot? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want my pilot blind. What's what's the name of that you can't show? look directly what's... into the sun either. What's the name of that show where know, the plane well, disappeared and Are came back? Manifest. Oh, manifest. Bro. Oh, what that would like, be the time. Listen, oh, no, off the choo -choo. Choo -choo. <laughs> <laughs> no, facts, facts, facts. That's not funny. That's not going to happen. So let's, if it does happen, y'all, then I reported it first. Like, I mean, <laughs> we still can't find that Malaysia flight, so I don't know. Hmm. Oh, I thought it. Oh. Someone said it got lost in the Bermuda. I don't know, but we're going to go ahead and go into the moto because, look, conspiracy <laughs> theories are flying. But, okay, this one is titled, My Parents Won't Pay My Tuition If I Live With My Boyfriend. So it says, My partner and I are both 22 and have been together for almost four years. We have talked about getting married, and I think this is in the cards for us, but my parents are pressuring, in quotations, forcing us to get married next summer before we are ready. I'm about to start law school in August, and my partner and I will be doing long distance for about eight months. Then the plan is that in May, he will move out to meet me and we will begin the next phase of our relationship and life together. The problem is my parents have agreed to pay for my housing, tuition and living expenses while in law school. But they said that if we live together without being married, that offer will go away. Go away. My partner and I are at a loss. We want to be together and eventually get married, but we want that to be on our own terms and when we feel like it's right for us. 
So now we're stuck between choosing to take out 200K in student loans or mm. marry. Are stuck? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> you <laughs> easily have to think about. No, no. make a choice. <laughs> so now we're mm. stuck between choosing to take out 200K in student loans or marry while feeling forced to be by my parents. Um, I feel like this is an unfortunate position to be in, and I want to be—I want to have a serious conversation with my parents about the strain they're putting on our relationship and our future. I'm trying to stay positive, and I do know that everything will work out itself just the right way. Advice, please. Girl, you don't need advice. You need your ass whooped. You are yeah. crazy. 200K. Yes. For 200K one, is okay, this, this is where you You're lost me. You said we're stuck. Y'all, this weird thing. No. <laughs> For you, be dating, to get married, for you to be dating yeah. a man who is okay with you having to choose between your parents paying a tuition and you living with him, that's crazy. He's being very selfish. Yep. He's being very, very yep. selfish. You know why it's easy for him to make you make that decision? Because his tuition being paid is not on the line. Because mm-hmm. trust, if his parents were saying he was going to pay your tuition or he has to decide between paying, getting his tuition paid and living with you, he that, that man would be having his tuition paid and y'all would be on Skype. Mm-hmm. Like, Literally. what? Mm-hmm. But it might not even be him she might just want to be with her boyfriend that bad that but, type of situation is real too and i do agree but you know it's one of those things where this is how i look at it okay if y'all are not ready to get married yet then what are y'all really living together for that's one especially since y'all are both young y'all are both in school um right. and then two what's the difference between like if he's already living long distance why can't yeah. he just like get an apartment by you right like it's clearly he's able to afford his lifestyle in another yeah. city so why can't he come to the same city if he's already planning on moving to that city why can't he just get his own place and you finish up law school girl do not miss right. law school over over this. love yeah. um it's i'm not gonna lie i think he lives with his parents too i don't think he has his own place well she said that they're doing long distance right yeah, now so he might live in his parents house and he's living oh. rent free i don't see i would assume if they're together know, for four years I've, and oh maybe in college you're right you know, that's true you know he's, 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 he's wise too. he's yeah, wise yeah. he's living at home and it's like I don't want to now get, I mean, and it's so crazy because is it collectively y'all getting $200,000 in debt or it's just you? Because, like, if he's comfortable with you going into debt over him, it's crazy. Like, he doesn't love yeah, you. Yeah, why start out like Like, that? y'all don't need to live yeah. together right now. Like, if, just wait eight months. If you can literally go and finish up law school yeah, debt for you. It's only three years, too, if you do yeah, that. Like, like, girl, come. In this economy? And on top of that, I'm not going to lie. If you're making a decision between living with somebody and getting your tuition paid, he need that type of decision deserves a ring, sis. I'm not yeah, even gonna lie. Yeah, and I feel your parents. Th- that's that's a I feel a your wifey parents. decision. So if he's not ready to put a ring on it, then and make that commitment. Why are you commit yeah. making this commitment to take out student loans? Mm-hmm. And your parents, you know what's crazy? Your parents sound like they're foreigners because We're, they sound like they just have conversations. No, they're no, they sound like foreigners. Yeah, like it, either this or that. <laughs> and I just feel like honestly, I get it. Like, look, I get it. You're young and in love and love is forever and there's no rush to it. Secure yourself. Secure your bag. I don't think you should pick living with your man over your parents paying for your tuition. I don't think it's wise. I don't think it's smart. I think that you need to face your studies first. Be in school, like Crystal said, for three years. And see if you even want to be with this man. You may meet someone else that will put you in a... That Thank you. Man, 22. That's yeah. what you want. You want to have fresh eyes. eyes. I'm not even against living with it. But I feel like in your early 20s, like, that's just get not... Get you a man that's going to get you both. Mm-hmm. Like, what are we doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's Sponsor just not goals. a commitment. I, and what's I he doing? Right? What's his Younger career? Women that's are he not pursuing mm-hmm. higher education? Even if he is, even if he isn't, I feel like, okay, like, y'all both... It seems like y'all both kind of went to college together. So he should have start be starting up a career or trying to break into that. Mm-hmm. He should be able to make enough. If he really wants to live next to you, like I said, he should be able to get an apartment himself. But she didn't put that in mm-hmm. writing. And not only that, I feel like this isn't even a normal ultimatum because there are some parents who the ultimatum is literally, <sighs> um, you live with this man and we will never speak to you again and that you'll be excommunicated. Hurts. They're really just saying either you are going to live under our rules and we will fully support you, financially support you, or if you want to be truly independent and live outside of what we've raised you to be, then you will financially support yourself. And... At my age, I've realized that a lot of the decisions my parents have tried to make for me or a lot of their advice that I've mm-hmm. tried not to take, it, it didn't make sense to me back then, but in the it long run, they mm-hmm. are wise and older for a reason. They've gathered a lot of yep. wisdom in their time. So yep. you, it may not make sense to you now, but trust, at this young age of 22, moving in with a man can derail your future. Yeah. A lot. Yes. A lot more person. than just paying student loans. Yeah. You know what I mean? Student loans, you know? So at this point, I feel like there's so much weighing on it that it's just an easy decision to make. And you know what? And I kind of, and to even, you made me think, I feel like hit their parents, her parents are thinking, like if they move in together, more than likely she could probably end up pregnant. 
Mm. So, oh, so thinking that that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. So at least school. let yeah. them be married mm-hmm. if that's going to be the right. case, mm-hmm. you know, and then that way she can still continue to pursue law school. Because right. think about it, like if she ends up pregnant, she could just drop out of law school, mm-hmm. you know, and now you're dropping out of law school with a baby with a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Doesn't oh. make any sense. Oh. Mm-hmm. And it. And student loan debt. Hell, girl, a take that teacher, advice, no please. No student loans. Yes. A Come on, y'all. Like, law school is three years. That's I'm like, it's, it'll go by quick. It Very really quick. Will. I didn't even know law school was three years. I don't know why I thought it was like two. No. Oh, mm-hmm. just three. Yeah. Not long. Better take them fresh eyes <laughs> to that campus. I know, girl. Yeah. So, girl, really? I would honestly take, I would. I would just live with your parents at yeah. this point. No, they they don't even say it's not living with her. No, parents. I I I mean I'm not gonna lie. If they're giving that type of ultimate, I'm just gonna stay where I'm at, go to law school. Like there's just no point. No, they're not telling me that she has to they're live with them. They're housing. gonna pay for her housing. Gonna That's fine. Housing. I'm gonna yeah. go. I'm gonna choose the housing portion. No. I want everything yeah. covered. I don't want to struggle. No, oh, you don't allow with 200k. Like you, that could be all house. That could be all wedding expenses. Wedding. Like girl, actually be so That's serious. Easy, for real. Like wedding. You can, now you have money left over for a down payment on a house. Like, like come on now, be for real. That's investment. And you're a lawyer. What? Mm. Going not it. thinking critically. Yeah, come on, girl. girl. <laughs> Get, go to school. Yeah, <laughs> go to school. <laughs> no. But yeah, so now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the petty chronicle. And someone actually wrote in for this petty chronicle, and she said, "Hi y'all, I'm a huge supporter of the podcast and listen to each episode y'all put out. But for the petty story, I got I got y'all one. So I'm in high school and I was minding my business at lunch until my friend's ex boyfriend comes and said, and I quote, "Hey, my friends think we're <laughs> both. Hey, my friends think we are both ugly. Want to go to prom? That wasn't mm-hmm. funny. I'm sorry." I was turning red from embarrassment and asked his ex, my friend, what to do. She said, just ignore him. So I do. But he is just pushing, but I continue to ignore him. It is not the first time this happens. The week before he asked to Dave April Fools, will I go out with him? Now I've had a gut feeling about it. Either I was going to say no. So when I do, he said, thank God. And I get the money from the bet I made. Hold on. Wait, he said that? Hold on. He said, the week before he asked Dave, the week before he asked Dave April Fools, will I go out with him? Now I've had a good feeling about it. Either way, I was going to say no. So what I do, he said, thank God, and I get the money from the bet I made. The reason I mm-hmm. asked my friend what to do is because that's still her ex, and I wanted to do what would make her feel comfortable. I told my teacher, she talked to him, but the next I get to school early, since I drive myself, mm. since I drive myself, I see him get dropped off and talk to his mom about the situation. <laughs> This is not funny, but basically saying, I'm sure you've taught your son no is no, but he continues to harass me in school. I hope you'll talk to him about it. So am I petty for talking to his mom? As the saying goes, you go low, I go lower. P.S. Love each and every one of y'all so much. I've learned a lot at my age from watching y'all. Oh, love you too, girl. Aww, Thank you for listening. So um, I do not think you're petty for going to his mom. Because, like, what the hell? Why is he playing with you like that? Did she go to his mom or did her teacher go? No, she, no, she, she went, went to his mom. mom. Oh. No, yeah, because yeah, yeah, I'm no, not going to lie. Yeah. Like, stop playing with me. Mm-hmm. But she, is she in high school? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, in high school. Yeah. Doing but also, too, like, I hate when guys try to be mean as a mean of flirting yeah. and you talking about oh well, we both ugly let's go to prom or oh I'm glad you said no up. like no if I would have said yes you would have been fucking with me Period. like you're trying to be I mean, funny that's and that's the wrong way to ever come at me like if you feel like you need to be rude to me to get at me then you're not like no yeah. I'm glad she told his mom and then that. also it's her friend's ex so like that's also that kind of like a that, yeah. yeah like yeah. it's kind of like it a sticky funny. situation and the fact that you're mm-hmm. I don't know like I guess it, it depends on relationship but the fact that the friend is just like oh ignore him ignore him but at the same time, like, what? That's what she's supposed to do. Like, what is she going to do? That's no, what ex. is she supposed to do? Yeah. That's what's like. It just depends right. on like what their relationship is. Like, if y'all are friends, I don't know. I, I don't know because I can't see high school. be that bad in high school. She's not so, petty. She's not. No. I don't no, think you're petty. No, I don't think not. you're petty at all for going mom, to his mom. mom. What kind of nigga? Because you no, for real. Like his mom needs to check him because yeah. why is he still coming at you? Like yeah. It's now no. that's two times in yeah. a couple weeks. I'm oh. sorry. Sometimes mothers need to know what kind of men they're racing. Yeah. Like seriously. So mm. I don't think you're petty. Y'all. You were, you were clearly uncomfortable with his right. advances. And the thing is, he knows you're uncomfortable because he used to date your best friend. Mm-hmm. So not sure what he's doing. And also like he talked about we both ugly girl. He no, don't do that. you're ugly. He likes Speak you. for yourself, right. baby. I want to know but what the mom also said. Too, yeah, did you like, I'm, like I'm, I'm so curious to know what the mom had to say. Also, too, I think next time maybe get your parents involved to talk to the mom. I don't think because sometimes kids talking to parents, it might go left or right. So get your parents involved as well so they know what's going on just in case something happens. You know, someone's there to defend you and be there for you. So I don't think it was wrong for you talking to parents. But next time, get your parents involved too. Or the te- well, she so talked to the allies. teacher. So you have she allies talked- with you. Mm-hmm. 
so yeah, she fucked oh, yeah. that was very mature of you yeah no, that was very actually yeah, that's really like, what it was kudos, that was very girl. mature yeah, yeah. Kudos, like, kudos kudos you said you go low i go lower yeah. i feel you girl you lucky took the high road because like you yeah, went straight did. to the source you said let me nip this in the bud yeah <laughs> instead of trying to embarrass him back because because you could have speaking of nipping in the bud um have y'all seen what's going on with ray monte and cardi b and the issues over influencer versus celebrity mm-hmm. news and well, before we get on that, let's go to the bigger picture of the whole. Raybonte had this. Raybonte is a TikTok influencer. Mm-hmm. He had a big birthday trip, and a lot of influ- influencers were on that same mm-hmm. birthday trip. And a lot of people were just pretty much saying, like, okay, there's so many influencers on this trip. Why was there not a lot of brand deals on the table? Because usually people go on trips like this and everything's paid for. Right. And so Essence made a whole article about it and pretty much was just like, okay, this is the conversation being had. Are black people just not marketable? And this and this, that and other. And Raybonte pretty much came out and said, essence thanks, don't no use thanks. my name for <laughs> for clickbait yeah. when there's a whole essence festival going on there's things going on you don't invite me to shit bt right. y'all don't invite me to shit so before y'all start trying to use my name and be part of the bigger conversation y'all are part of the problem mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. he used cardi b as an example saying like you know cardi b is loud black ghetto like i don't even consider myself ghetto but she is but he feels like it's only okay to be loud black and ghetto if you're not loud black and ghetto type mm-hmm. shit and then Cardi inserts herself into the conversation. And what does Cardi say? Um, she kind of went off. Like, I mean, I didn't see exactly what she said. I just saw like the aftermath with her live and like her trying to explain everything. Mm. And me personally, with everything, I do think that Cardi should not have spoken the situation. I don't I, think I don't I didn't really agree with everything she was saying. I just feel like as a celebrity look, talking to an influencer, it just mm. doesn't make sense. I mean, it's kind of yeah. the same thing that he did, though. You know, like I think it's one of those things where. Like he went to Essence and mm-hmm. said, "Like Essence, don't use my name for this article." And Cardi's kind of doing the same she said thing the same to him. Thing. Yeah, it's like don't use my don't name. use my name as a reference yeah. to what you have going on with Essence. Like that's I'm an not example. Involved. Well, no, but I, but I think that's different because I feel like the reason why Ray Monte was saying don't use my name is because Essence is talking about how black people are not quote unquote marketable to certain people and why is it why is that Mm -hmm. and let's start that conversation when it's like essence you're talking about why is that you answer us because you're also a big platform that can give me an influencer Mm -hmm. who has over a million followers opportunities over two yeah and you have not right so it's like before you start that conversation Mm -hmm. look within and have an internal conversation as to how you go about choosing certain influencers Mm -hmm. you know and then when he said that they clapped back at him again so there is no like yeah. yeah Deleted the tweet and the article. <laughs> yeah, when mm. easily talk about not saying it on business. It could have easily been like, okay, you know what? You're right. Here's two VIP tickets to Essence mm-hmm. Fest. Essence Fest is literally in July. Like they had an opportunity right. to, you know, maximize on this, but they chose not to. The Cardi B thing, I think, was a very good conversation about colorism because if you think about, it, there's no way you can say Ray Monte is not marketable, but Cardi B has a Facebook show. Like she has um her own drink. She's worked with so many brands, and she is quote unquote loud and ghetto, but because she is not like phenotypically black she's allowed to be loud have, and you know she's allowed right. to be loud and ghetto right. and I feel and like that was his point and he wasn't even like disrespectful or anything yeah. he was just using her as a mm-hmm. reference yeah he I don't feel like Cardi her. B she I mean like the fact that he, he called her Mexican, Mexican. that's literally and, and, what she had every right to and, 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 and honestly see, she is, did if she's not Mexican don't I get it cool he didn't call but think this thing he didn't call her Mexican in that conversation he called her Mexican apparently like a long time ago like a few months ago, he called her Mexican mm, and okay. she came in his DMs and was like, I'm not Mexican, I'm Dominican. And he was like, okay. He was like, I've never, I've never, he said he'd never called her Mexican since then. He's never referred her to her as that. What happened was a lot of bar, what do they call themselves? The Barty gang went into his DMs and was saying like a whole bunch of racist shit, calling him the N words and all this other stuff. And he mm. kind of defended himself against that. And he was like, I guess he had called, I mean, it's not right, but he called someone like a dirty Mexican or whatever. He wasn't referring to Cardi B, but he was just like clapping back at her fans or whatever. And so he even said it, he was like, the thing about it is your fans are in here calling me N-words and monkeys and hmm. tars and all kinds of... But then um, you're supposed to be marketable to the black Yeah, community. he was like, all types of racist things. And he was like, if you are truly the black woman that you claim that you are, these things would offend you too. Aren't right. you like, you don't feel no kind of way that you're... Um, fans are calling me the n-word because i mean aren't wouldn't that mean they're calling you an n-word too but you don't see all that what you yeah. saw was mexican and, th- and that's what got you see, riled up and like i didn't that. know that she didn't address any of that in her life she just no, was she going didn't. in saying all this useless jargon i'm just yeah. like I, the, the, the gist of what out. she was saying the gist of what out. she was saying was the fact that like she was like at the end of the day like i've always been called ghetto like she was just saying that being in a higher space does not like omit me from being called ghetto she's like i've still made it to spaces and 
they still call me ghetto. She's like, when I first came out, I had to change the way I talk. I had to change the way I dress. I had to change the way I look. I quit loving hip hop just because they kept calling me ghetto. They kept saying like I was uneducated. They kept saying I was different things. And she was like, and I was able to surpass that and, you know, still become the person that I am. Yeah. And so of, that's his point. Because of you. Yeah. Cause of, never mind. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes. she did all those things. A lot of people. At the same time, you still have and then a she big said, and she, But she's, but her, her, the point of her video, was, which I agree with y'all, but the point of her video was she's saying that even in still being in this space, I still get called ghetto. Like, look at the way I talk. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nothing has ever, like, saved me from the grace of being called ghetto. Like, again, still in spaces. The only reason I've been able to make it is because, like, I've surpassed and did all this da 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 So but, that was the gist of But that's the thing. Saying. I don't think, uh, like, I think a lot of people don't understand colorism. And, like, I think yeah. that's another conversation we need to have. Because Cardi B basically was proving Ray yeah, Bonte's no, point that's the, crazy the part. entire like, time. Really like, like, girl, like, and like, you know what? You made a good point. I really, I truly do not think people understand what colorism is. I think people think colorism is just, like... Oh, because I don't know. It's like they boil it down to such basic like things, and then like it's so nuanced. Like what you're explaining is colorism. You saying like, oh, I mean, I'm ghetto too, but look at everything I've done. It's like, right. yeah, that's my point, boo. Like you're doing all that because you do not have this barrier of not being easily like you be, you're marketable to white people and all these mm -hmm. other people, people because the color of your skin allows you to go into different rooms and navigate very a lot easier than. So Ramonte, he was a dark-skinned, homosexual black male. He cannot navigate spaces in the same way that you can. People are not going to want to market him to everybody. And the fact that you're saying, oh, we're both ghetto, mm -hmm. look where I'm at, is like you're ignoring the fact that you are marketable as a Mexican and you know, So then let me ask y'all oh, this sorry. then. So what's the difference between Cardi and Sexy Red? Because the mm -hmm. thing is, but no, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> Sexy Red has been very marketable, mm -hmm. being very ghetto. But she, and but, she's not she's not light skinned. But Cardi addressed that though. She said that to Ramonte. She was like, "You're trying to say that you can't be in these spaces, but Sexy Red is in these Se spaces. She's, she's been on tour yeah. with Drake. She's doing this. She's doing that. She's like, but, you have but, to keep pushing past mm, the so called mm -hmm. imposed barriers. That's what that was. What Cardi tried point, to say. But at the same it, time, has Sexy Red I'm, got NYX exactly. makeup brand deal? Sexy Red marketable? Has she, has she brought no. out a liquor brand? She's not able to go into those spaces. Let's be I mean, honest here. I, yeah, no, let's be clear I, here. She hasn't yet. Because right I mean, so to move. me, I feel like she has a great run right now. But I think maybe like okay, like let's take let's take. Um, Cardi's like first year right. like her first right. year out as a new artist and Sexy Red's first year out as a new artist I think it's very comparable and I, like maybe Biggie not did, like two different like, Cardi didn't so. get there overnight no. like and right. so it took time it, it, that's what I'm saying it, it, I agree yeah. so, so it's like I'm wondering like and I think Cardi got a lot of those like deals a little bit later on yeah but so, you, yeah so and my question is like so why is it that sexy red's marketable so what are we comparing because i think yeah. there's a difference between being and i only like the word marketable but there's a, a difference between being viral and everyone knowing who you are and being able to translate that into monetary value mm. does sexy red have a lot of deals on the table i don't like compared to ice spice somebody no. who doesn't even have as many hit songs right. as she does. I know what I mean. Got a whole, no. I think it wasn't in a Vanity Fair shoot. Like, no. I, and I feel I like this is Grammy. But you know, I, I feel like Sexy Red is a deserving of that. Yeah. No, she is. So, I mean, very deserving. It reminds me of like Let's when, be when, clear when, here. when Swag and Surf, Swag <laughs> Swag Surf got platinum deal, and it was like Swag Surf just became platinum. It's been platinum in the hood. I feel like Sexy Red is the same way. Like we all know her, so we think she's a household name. When in actuality, if you to go to society, Walmart and ask not. like. Uh, a, a 60 year old white woman who sexy red is they're not gonna know who she is like mm -hmm. and it's crazy i don't know i just that's like, crazy they're not putting crazy. sexy red on a target ad right no they're shame. not inviting like sexy they red to met gala but i, I do <laughs> also which i agree with y'all but i do also feel like it's early in sexy red's career i feel like a lot of brand deals that cardi has received it is like Look cardi, at ice cardi went to met gala the first year of her album oh i'm, 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 I'm talking about sexy red and cardi <laughs> mm -hmm. when cardi got a lot of her brand deals she got after one, she was dating Offset. After she became a fashion girly. After she became a makeup girly. Like I feel like that's when all the brand deals came. And like Sexy Red, she had like a Fashion Nova deal. That's one of her biggest. She, yeah, yeah, I mean, that was, that was the girl next door was, has a fashion. That was like she had three, fashion over two. during Love and Hip. Y'all, let's yeah. She said she had well, fashion over. She was getting paid two hundred dollars a post. So, so that's really not a lot. And at, we're at a point deal. in time where. Celebrities aren't doing Fashion Nova discount codes. It's regular influencers now. So t for us to expect her to be on the, for them to offer that to Sexy Red when celebrities aren't even doing no, that anymore. No, it's is... just an example. Like, Sexy Red hasn't gotten anything yeah, like that. No, she hasn't even gotten she in she hasn't been or Boohoo. Like, she hasn't been out long. I'm just saying that I feel like. a whole album. I, that still, she still hasn't been out long, though. I, I do feel like, you mm. know, further in her career, maybe those things will come. Like, again, Cardi did not become a fashion girl overnight. And now she has multiple fashion brand deals. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it came later in her career. So I just feel like. I do think that. I it think came. Sexy Red is coming. I don't, I don't I think, think it's the impossible higher for her. End stuff did come a little bit later, later for to Cardi. Cardi. Yeah, but I, think, I do. I, but I okay. do agree. I do think that the reason why 
a lot of these higher end things were even an option is because of how Cardi looked. Absolutely. Yeah. And, I, we I can, agree with and we can use Sweetie too. Sweetie's career is not is in one's position. And she's still getting invited to places. She's getting brand deal. Come on, y'all. Let's be clear here. Like, but Sweetie, oh, and the she, thing is, and I feel like Sexy Red has Sweetie's more emotion than her. Sweetie's music career is in one position, but Sweetie as a brand, Sweetie brands herself but, very well. And so does Sexy on, Red. On I think y'all all kind of saying the same thing, but mm-hmm. I feel like y'all are just approaching the conversation in different ways because yeah. you're just saying the same thing she's saying. Yeah, no, she, I, I'm agreeing with y'all. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Because she's saying I, Sweetie is easier to market to. She's very. I mean, she made a theme song for the 49ers. Yeah. But I do want to circle back to it, though, because the argument that the fans started making in regards to Ramonte was like, why would you be in these space with brand deals because you don't have influence? What? And so, th- yeah, people started saying, like, what makes you influence? You don't have influence. And Ramonte started pulling Are out receipts of when he ate some granola bars and they were sold out of stores for, for weeks and months at a time. Some girl who was deaf was doing, like, saying Buki in, like, her video. So he was like, y'all trying to tell me I don't have influence, but I have two million followers mm. and I'm doing all this. I have influence. Right. And I'm like, now we're questioning, like you said, are people marketable or not? Can they make money off of somebody? But clearly the things that he's done on his own... He- Something went and that's missing another off the conversation. Show for weeks. People you know don't I mean? understand what an influencer is and what influence is. That, we have to have another conversation about that because to me, you're t- now it sounds like we're talking to uneducated people. Exactly. To say yeah. Raymond has no influence is like to me, yeah. you're talking out your yeah. ass. Wow. Like for sure, you and don't someone, know what you're talking about. Someone made a really good point where they were like, "Y'all keep saying that Raymond Ray is not marketable. Y'all keep saying he's a ghetto black <laughs> guy, but what y'all don't understand is he has two million followers. Like." He is marketable because he has an audience. You are the audience. Mm-hmm. So who you're really calling ghetto and black is yourself. You. The yeah. people, because he has a market. The problem is mm-hmm. certain brands don't want to market to this market. Right. And that's mm-hmm. what it really boils down mm-hmm. to. It's not that he's marketable. It's just that a lot of people are just not interested t- in that demographic yeah. that mm-hmm. Raymonte caters to, yeah. which is a bigger is, issue in and itself. If he starts, and if he transfers over there, they're not going to be interested in it. To me, it's wasted investment. Because nothing about Raymonte's content is ghetto not at all mm-hmm. not at I all guess, yeah i guess it's just one of those things where you have to look at it like are they marketable to like a diverse population you know mm-hmm. and when we look at it like if you are trying to like make things marketable to the white people you're gonna need someone who's light skin who's light skin who can kind of relate to them because like <sighs> the thing is like and that's mm-hmm. the problem yeah. that, that's that, is, crazy. that is the issue because think about yeah. it it's like if i wear if I was to wear a certain brand, mm, let's be honest, like people might not think it like a white person might not think it can fit for them because they're like, oh, it's on a black girl, you know, like w- we don't correlate like mm-hmm. we're not we're not the same type of person. So they wouldn't be influenced by mm-hmm. that. But like maybe put that on someone who is fair skin mm-hmm. who can like pass either way, then it is more marketable to a, a wider audience. Right. And I agree. And like that, like to sum this one up, like I do want to even touch base a little bit on how funny Marco teamed up with Bobby. A. Is, how do you pronounce his name? Alof? 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 Some Alof. Bobby A. I don't know. Bobby. Bobby A. I honestly didn't think funny Marco needed Bobby. Bobby needs funny Marco. And the fact that funny Marco is going on tour now just cause with Bobby's influence. Oh, I just don't, They're going on tour together. I don't no. think he needs her. I don't think funny Marco needs to be on tour with Bobby A. Like. He, I just feel he, like you did it. that to like you know to marketable well, bring to the white people. You see what I'm yeah. saying? Well, Bobby he, has he's a, not. Mar- she does. Bobby does have. A she has. She has she I get it. So I'm that's saying. that's what she's saying that he he did. It so to he's bring not marketable the, by himself. You have to he is, align but he him did with it to her. Bring it in a different crowd, obviously. Yeah, but it's to a different sell crowd already watches him. That's I mean, the but, crazy thing. Like, but what is her crowd though? What is? I'm actually genuinely. I don't. know I have no idea. Outside of us watching, because she's attached to Marco. What is her audience? You know what I'm saying? Like she's literally using you more than you're using her. I'm just curious a lot of black people watch her right. that's the thing because like, of it's because she had black uh, all right because of because she knows because she it's interviews kind of, black she artists interviews black people and the, her funny that's marco was the first watch. one to blow up that's why she then went on to have drake and everybody else come on because the funny marco interview yeah. she did him blew up so i think he she he definitely helped her a lot yeah and i heard know what's going on with her and drake market. but drake has distanced himself from her like <laughs> that never happened to yeah. in his book mm-hmm. chess moves i think everyone should take that approach I'm waiting for the surviving Drake documentary. Woo! <laughs> Speaking of surviving, let's talk about Diddy. Mm. Child. These new allegations, guys. What are the newest ones? The newest Honestly. one. No, they're not really new. I mean, well, I well, I've educated myself since the last episode. Like, yeah. And um, there's a lot that went down. And honestly, I kind of have to retract some of my statements. Yeah. I don't know what went down, but I know something went down. And I don't know if Meek Mill Usher were involved, but I feel like they were. <laughs> And, no, you know what I'm saying. Pages like, they added. They page that, that page. Y'all, 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 y'all go read that court document because now 
things are making sense. Well, and I yeah. see why people are not speaking, Usher. So let's <laughs> tell us about it. Who did like it? Um, so basically, so, well, to speak to like the Meek Mill and Usher. So what? basically. Diddy, Allegedly. Alleged, guys. Alleged. It's all alleged. There's all pictures in the documents. I mean, but, <laughs> but, like, but not towards them. I know, but like. That's Stevie J one was Stevie J. Yeah, Sorry. that was definitely Stevie J. Mm-hmm. Oh but no, okay, that was not Stevie J. Yes, yes it, it was. was. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, 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 I haven't seen the new pages. <laughs> Sorry. I have not I seen the new pages. Not, not, the not the unison. It's in 4K. <laughs> I haven't seen Zoom the Zoom close. What is it? I haven't seen the new one. Okay. They're in bed. So in the way like, Stevie J is going hard for him, he's so, definitely in that documentary. Yeah, he's trying to fight 50. He did it. Just to give a little bit of background. So basically, the guy who brought the lawsuit to light is a guy that worked on the Love album for Diddy. And he produced, I think, nine or ten out of all the songs that actually made it to the track. Mm -hmm. So he produced a very large part of it. And Diddy told him at the end of the day, he can only give him twenty thousand dollars. And so he was refusing to Mm -hmm. pay him for the songs that he actually produced. But while he was producing the album, he was living with Diddy for like two, three years. And so basically he was going through and seeing like things that Diddy was doing within this two and three time span so that's why he brought the lawsuit forward kind of under the speculation of for one he didn't get paid and two you were doing some illegal shit Mm -hmm. so the whole um document it spans from like 2021 to 2022 2023 like beginning of 2023 um and he talks about a lot of different things he talks about how he was he was being forced to recruit um, process like uh, strippers, strippers, strippers. To, to do like sex work for Diddy and like his parties and different things like that. He talked about and how did he do it. Yes, yeah, he, was yeah, doing, he took pictures he was, and videos. He was of doing everything, but then he was but a documentary. Then, he was in the docu- creating a documentary. Yeah, but in the doc, yeah, he was he like was a creating, film. Yes, everything was filmed. He was filming. He's gonna have a documentary. They're about to pay him. Everything was filmed. Yeah. Everything mm-hmm. evidence. Yeah, everything was filmed. Yeah, so like, I don't wanna, but that's I mean, why the, they raided the house. Yeah, in the document, in the document, it basically his attorney says he was coerced and forced by mm-hmm. Diddy's power to do these things. So he didn't willingly want to mm-hmm. do these things. Yeah. Um. So then okay. it talks about how Diddy had um, parties where he invited like girls as young as fifteen years old mm-hmm. to be at the parties. Um, and how they would have different Deleon bottle, bottles for girls and for men. Mm-hmm. And so they would spike the Deleon bottles for, mm-hmm. that would go to the girls, like with ecstasy and Coke and different things like that. And then the guys would be drinking regular Deleon. So it was like a way to like get the girls, whatever. And then he also talked about how, you know, they brought Diddy's son, Christian Combs, into mm-hmm. it about how he allegedly sexually assaulted and like um, drugged a girl, an underage girl. Um, it talked okay. So whenever Stevie J came into play, so mm. so the guy I forget the guy's name was it Mark? I don't know his name, but the guy who brought the lawsuit forward, he Rodney. stated, huh? Rocky Rodney Rodney yeah. So Rodney stated that Diddy was um bisexual um and so he liked men and so he kept trying to get Rodney to have sex with or do like sexual things with men in front of Diddy. Um, one of them being a Cuban Gooding Jr. Mm-hmm. They were on a yacht. Those pictures were incriminating, y'all. They were on a yacht. Really? Yes. Yes. There's pictures yes. in them? Yes. 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 about a week? Document. Yeah, on the document. So he was on <laughs> yes. a yacht. And you know what? I'm and not going to lie. Anything like Cuba with... Gooding Jr. is trying to like, get Anything yeah, with Cuba's yes. name, I low-key no, like. Because yeah. yeah. Cuba is some shit. Yeah, like, so let's not he... forget Cuba was arrested a couple yeah. years ago. He said that couple? Cuba was like <laughs> touching him inappropriately to the point where he had to tell him like, Back the fuck up. And off the of picture me. looks like he's saying that. Yeah. It's like he, to the point where he's telling him, like, back Who's up off me. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, you did he and did he basically was like telling him, like, oh, well, you like men, men do this all the time with other men. He's like, it's really normal in this industry, you know, like, and then he showed him a video of Stevie J um, penetrating a penetrating man. Penetrating a man anally, a white man anally. <laughs> so that was also attached. <sighs> um, and then he talked, did he said personally it's that he had, had sexual encounters and they had to uh redact yeah. their names but this is where they inserted the meek mill and usher of meek and mill another and r&b usher. artist and that another... i couldn't figure it out so were they saying meek mill and usher and someone else and no, so and another diddy. third person with diddy three together no i think no like different times like different he's messed times. around with them he messed around with them there's a third person too but i couldn't figure out who it was couldn't figure figure so out. it goes because you like by picture you couldn't figure no, out. No, they, they, they redacted name, their name uh, and then they put. Um, we'll they said that it's protection. an R and B singer who got who slapped someone behind something and got fined. I looked that up. Y'all can't so find, find nothing. It. And then so me, I don't know what it is. 
Is it a guy or a girl? It's a, it's a guy. It's a guy. It's a guy. It was a homo- oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's a guy. I can figure that yeah. out because that's story. Trey Songz? Okay, I thought it was Trey, but nothing was coming up when Trey I searched Song? it. Trey Songz? He's slapping rap bitches. Mm-hmm. So then, they, yeah, but then right. what if it was Kevin Gates? Mm-hmm. I don't Gates know. Y'all, don't do that. Oh, yeah, he's no way. way. No way. So then, then um, what else did it say? And then it talked about how. there was a shooting in the clubhouse. Yeah, they said that Diddy and his son shot somebody and they showed Video, they show pictures of, of the crime blood. scene. It was yeah. blood all over the bathroom. Who's taking And I photos? believe it. He was. No, it's crazy. Even How did my, nobody see it? No, he knew. Diddy knew that he was filming everything. Like, he was like... Makes no sense. He, okay. he, he was filming. No, it's, it's the like dumbest that, criminals in the world. Outside of everything that you guys have even said, like, you only found issue when you're only going to get paid 20K. Like, <laughs> that's where... That's and that's what's where, really killing who? me because mm-hmm. not even just that, not to make it right on Diddy's end, right. but you lived with him for how long? Right. I'm pretty All sure bill free, happen. expense free, mm-hmm. turn up free, and then you don't have an issue. So now you're not getting those paid for turn ups? Those weren't turn ups. He was in coercion. He also said yeah. that. He also get said that. On. Yeah, he like he was Miami fighting for his life. He was doing whatever he can because he was trying to fight for those 10 tracks on that album and he thought he was going to get paid. But are y'all sure? I feel like he was low key, like an undercover this whole time because even as someone else Ooh. who's coming out with like a lawsuit against Christian Combs mm-hmm. and she says that he allegedly um, was like coercing her I guess and like rubbing on her and she was like turn, t- turning him down and he kept like pretty much accusing him of sexual assault but what it was was there was a studio on the yacht so she's saying that there is a recording of her turning down his advances because they were recording on the yacht and I'm just like mm. so they kept that recording i feel like this whole time he a was lot, there's, a lot of vi- there's a lot of video evidence my thing with diddy i just don't understand why you would want to like snake someone that has all this kind of evidence yeah on that was a kind that of confusing part sense. to me yeah. but i don't think he really thought that he was going to do that because then he also accused um carisha's cousin of oh, sexual- trying to uh no not him. trying yeah sexually yeah. assaulting him yeah, mm-hmm. so that's how Carisha kind of came up. Well, no, Carisha came up too. Like he said that Carisha was bringing drugs, did a drop off for Diddy. I'm like, that's anyone. No, anyone he didn't. Do he that. didn't even say he did a drop off. No, he said that he, he said that drugs from someone her. was supposed to bring drugs for Diddy. It. They couldn't get it, and he was like, "Oh, I'm just gonna do coke with Miami later." Yeah, and everyone does cocaine in the industry. So, uh, <clears> so fast forward to like today, his house was raided. His yeah, house, house was raided by um, Homeland Security. Yep. Yeah. And let me tell you something. Feds are involved. Homeland Security and the feds come to your door. You did something. I don't know about everything in that document. They got you something You did on something. They've been building a case. Yeah. And, and they said that Kathy. They said Kathy's cooperating of with the feds. She is. Why would she? She not? was always cooperating. Why would she not? My guess is, look my that question is like, it's been chaos ever since. I mean, yeah. can't you cooperate if you like took a payoff from him? They didn't she. It was a settlement, not a payoff. They a a, a law settlement. Mm-hmm. Yeah, outside no, they they court. Out, oh, so okay. what is she? They, they settled out of court. So, so why like, can't I cooperate? So how is she gonna now come and speak about something when she took a set? She's like, not speaking. She's cooperating with she's the police. She's cooperating with the police. So if they I don't need think anything. N- I'm gonna provide it. Yeah. Even if you set, sign an NDA, NDAs do not um, uphold. Yeah, like, they don't uphold when it comes to like criminal matters. Like, like federal, because yeah. now it's like federal of homeland. I feel like if she didn't cooperate, that's gonna be legal problems on her. Like mm-hmm. she has to cooperate. Yeah. But mm-hmm. he's outside oh. laughing, giggling. That's so and he posted a he posted a, he posted a song today. Y'all today's Friday. He posted this song today, and I'm just like, did he go to jail quietly like R. Kelly did? Like I don't want to hear nothing from you. I the Instagram needs to take his page away. Like let's just it's getting gross. My question that is my question is like, do they feel like that's like the best way to handle situations like this to continue acting like nothing happened? I just and and honestly, even if you are innocent, my thing is right. it's just so unco like it's just for yeah, me it's just like it's sit just, down quietly what? and just eat your humble pie. That's it. Like you sitting here getting haircuts on private jets, going right. to parties and doing this it's just like to me it's that screams it's, guilty to me. Yeah, this like, is the nineties fam. It screams that you're trying to live your best life before it's yeah. gone. Like you like, saw what Tori did fam like you are under fire but even like, Miami it's like weird. Miami like it's crazy Miami kept her comments on Miami like bro, has been speeding through her like, too I'm just like <laughs> yeah, girl Miami a, mm. you act like you're not worried because you feel like this man got money he can get you out of this situation it's but money. sweetheart your name is in court documents baby, you're not, baby. not young Miami baby. Carisha but Brownlee Carisha. Like, and not even just that like it's crazy because 50 Cent like I feel like now it makes a lot more sense 50 Cent has been trying to tell us about P. Diddy with 50 Cent There's because his baby mom is involved. Mm-hmm. They're saying they're claiming that she was a Allegedly. sex slave along with. Which do I feel like she was a sex slave? Do, I feel like she was fucking him. He was giving him money. Yeah, I feel like, yeah. do, like do I feel like she was an actual Miami. sex slave. See, no. and we like, had a conversation about this other day. Like, is there a di- what's it? The, there's a big difference between a sex slave and a sex worker. Like, I feel like in this day and age, it's being a sex worker is so normalized that even if she was a sex worker, like, is that a they big were deal? dating? And but my question, but my question is, it's like. 
I feel like what becomes a sex slave is if they're doing things that they actually don't want to do. You but can't leave. Like but the guy who's trying to blast him, basically. Yeah, yeah like yeah. you're doing Running. things yeah. that you don't want to do, but you know that like it's kind of like you have to do he's it. Holding mm-hmm. stuff over your head, like because P Diddy kept then, like threatening him. And like, I think that the don't. I think that the the little reward that they got was just a, a allowance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm more so talking about like Fifty Cent trying to say he's he's or they said he filed for custody. He did. once he found out about her being a sex worker, and I'm just like. I don't That's think extreme. she was a sex worker. I think she I think was so a sugar baby. I, I, I definitely like, think. I think he she was, was their sugar daddy. I think they were easily dating. That's I feel like they were getting I, that there confused. was a mutual like, con- yeah, attraction like, here. And then, uh, respectfully, dating a man like Diddy, I do need to get something. I'm sorry, like low it, key, like you know what I'm saying. Like I, I, I think they were dating, and he was yeah. giving her money. Like why would you not give me money? You're a billionaire. Like, I feel like they were seriously? sugar babies, and like the like, the strippers that they were recruiting were the sex workers. Mm, well, let's part. not blur the lines here. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. Young that Miami and that girl were sugar babies. So do y'all feel like they're gonna get in trouble? That's okay. Do you think you're gonna get in trouble? I don't know. Maybe I'm not taking it seriously enough. Y'all, I just don't see them going down, 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 down. Let me like, tell you something. <laughs> if I there's video evidence on something that incriminates people, they're getting in trouble. I think so. where the issue is going to be is yeah. like if they were present for like underage mm-hmm. people to be there. Because mm-hmm. they were saying like underage boys and girls. So like mm-hmm. I don't know if it's one of those things where if they were present for that and like they were That's like turning up and partying with see? them and then like people were ended up getting sexually assaulted in that regards. Then I think that they they might be they'll probably be able to cut a deal because at the end of the day clearly they they want Diddy. Yeah, right. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't know. know. Can you imagine? They might not get in trouble. You see all those people that were on that R. Kelly documentary. None of them got in trouble, Literally, and they were all present. So yeah, Damn. But, <laughs> they yeah. were all present. Parents, so nobody. Right. They all yeah. so gave their children into that. I, I'm not gonna lie. Slap. <laughs> and I hate to be this one person, but I'm. Not, I, I do want to see him go down. I do just just a little bit, just because I you feel like. To. You've done so many things, and it's like it's it's very unfortunate it happened at the hands of a black man. But you've done so many things. Everybody cannot be lying. Like even if you didn't do everything in the document, you did something, and it's not okay. Just because you are in higher positions of power, it's not okay. Like you have to go down, and this has you have to be an example. We're gonna have to make an example at you at this point because there's no way that people in positions, people with power, they keep doing Mm -hmm. certain things that are illegal to minors. Yeah. And they get away with it. Mm-hmm. My thing is like, I don't give a fuck if you're a black man. Oh, again, I hate that it's happening at the hands of a black man, but you're just gonna have to go down. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Like, we're just we cannot keep making excuses for these people just because they're black. Like, and it's crazy because I realize yeah, it's unacceptable. When you look at it, there's certain celebrities that really just stick to like their circle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I feel like that's for a reason. A reason. Because mm-hmm. it can get very dark. Friends. It can get very dark. And look, yeah. like again. Everybody's not lying, bro. Even if, even if that whole thing was a lie, the amount of people that came out and said things about Diddy, the amount of, like if you no, listen to like bro. interviews, now industry, people are like, to be honest, they've been like, talking about Diddy's about parties for decades. Like who was the one that said don't go to Diddy's parties? Who's huh? the one that said that? Huh? Who's the one that said everybody has said go to Every, don't go to Diddy's no, parties? But somebody so, came out and said it was someone, someone specifically yeah. said. Well, oh, you talking about the guy? No, not him. A celebrity was, came out and was like, was, no, his parties were like this. I forgot. It was something, and he was just yeah. Okay, it was. I know you're. I know talking about the um. The Denzel thing, where it's like go home after a certain amount of hours. No. I remember that okay, one, then, but like no. I know, like I know, like, I know I, I've heard Joe Budden talk about Diddy's parties and like what goes on I'm sure in there. He enjoyed it. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. For the interview I heard, they were kind of like, "Y'all, like this has been going. Like mm-hmm. they've kind of everyone's been waiting for this to kind of happen. Yeah, that's why a lot of people are not coming out about it because they know. I'm just so confused on the recording. Like, were you trying to just have like? video footage of your life for your I'll kids to watch later y'all. on in the future like all this incriminating things like someone was shot and that's on camera yeah. like let that's just me like, be clear are you holding thing. leverage over people to send them away like i'm just i kind of feel your Rodney. child i think he was ego. creating his defense like it's like if you're no i'm saying diddy knowing that he was recording all that i like, really think he was recording people too why i don't the only reason why i do side eye rodney is because like jory said like Mm, would if you, you have got your if money, you have got you if you have got millions off of this album? Would, would you, you have, have said sh- anything? No, I probably don't know. not, and probably not. He probably was down to do all that, like I you said, know, because guys. he wanted to be ten songs on the album and get a pay cut, and you didn't get it. Money, that's what money will make you do some things. Money, but look it's what so money weird, make a bitch like, do. Literally, the, fa- the fact that Diddy like. You, you tell me you give him 20,000 20, okay. now 20,000 is criminal nom- that wasn't was a Grammy nominated oh, yeah. album he said, oh he did say he said that I'm gonna give you 20k and I'm gonna make sure that you get a Grammy he did say that, that Grammy are not Grammy. they're not valuable it's not, yeah. Yeah. right after the album dropped the melee came so sorry yeah, where's the like, Grammy that's what I'm saying 20k is very criminal did you hear yeah teeth yeah like what <laughs> you gave him 20k and no Grammy wow like, uh, last but not least how do y'all feel about Sexy Red and Drake love it <laughs> 
Well, not them necessarily together, but I love it. You for think her. they're dating? No, absolutely not. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I think you said love them I together. I was like, what? So I found the quote. It was Cat Williams. He said, "Did he oh, want to party? We have to tell him no." No. Was that what? him? Cat it was somebody. Well, Kelly Williams well, did talk about. Who yeah. Cat Williams did, did say? Did he want to party and you be having to tell him? Oh, no? tell him no. Yeah. I know did we have time, but mm-hmm. I do want to just oh. say real quick that when this YSL trial is all said and done, like I really hope that the DA and the judge both go to jail. Because are y'all watching that trial? It's a joke. It is a shit. It's show. a lot. It's a joke. I don't understand oh, it. There was one that, person that was like, "I'm high. I can't remember." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who yeah, the, the, a, witness, a witness the for witness. the prosecutor. The I was like, "What?" There's so much going on. This like, is I'm high. Crazy. Yeah, he said, "I'm so he high right that. now." Did I they arrest remember. him? No, no he, he was a witness. Going. He was a witness on the stand. And there's so for much the, stuff. But it's, like, it, it's kind of in favor of the DA admitted to tampering the, and hiding evidence. The DA is putting in her own personal text messages into the stand. Like, it's uh, I think that's a lot. To let but you got you got to think about it. No, Honestly, yeah, Georgia to, right now it. is low key like fucked in general. Whenever it comes to the law, because the D like the head DA right now she's under fire from oh, the Fanny. Senate from everybody oh. for her Isn't having she the one that was having the affair. Yes. So oh I, yeah, they're I dying. truly don't know how. This trial's even going to like I don't understand how it's not at a mistrial at this point because because no. the judge won't do it. There's, there's just too much behind. Like there's too many like too much nonsense. Too many on. crooks. Yeah, that are supposed to be good it's, guys. Yeah. in this being exposed. Yeah, you know, the lawyers asked for like a mistrial like three times already, and the judge keeps saying no. It's to the point where um, the DA pretty much presented like some stuff into evidence and was telling the witness like these are our text messages. Do you like? This is what you said. And so once the um, other attorney heard this, he was like, we cannot sit here and examine your text messages because you are not a witness. If you want to recuse yourself from the trial and enter as a witness, then you can, but you can't put your statements into F- evidence if I can't cross-examine you. And so he asked the judge, like, you need to dismiss her from the case. And the judge pretty much was like, no. And then after he says no, he says, but please, y'all, make sure to keep from say- making statements that may make you a witness further on the line. Wow. So you pretty much admitted that what she said was making her, like, Putting her in a, uh, making her a potential witness, but you did not mm. accept the statement from the. The attorney. DA sounds like she's it was just, just too, too much. She's too personalized right. in this case. Like, yeah, and the judge is prosecuting from the bench, but I would suggest y'all watch that trial. This is definitely the OJ Simpson trial of our generation. Like, it's we're like sixty days in, and we probably have like two months left. It's better than Wyatt W. Manley's case. I was just about to bring that up because you know they're mm-hmm. gonna try him again. Mm-hmm. And I'm Somebody like, said he was gonna be on trial till 2027. They need to let that is. go. Y'all, y'all lost. <laughs> like, I want to ask. I could have kept on his case. They lost that. How do y'all? Oh. Yeah, he, a mistrial. They, they lost, girl. They didn't, mm. they couldn't. They, they found reasonable doubt that he didn't do it. How do y'all feel about like Angel Reese and mm. everything that's been going on with her? She recently had a game versus Iowa, well, LSU women's basketball in mm-hmm. Iowa. They faced up, they went up against each other again and Iowa ended up being the victors. Um, but Angel Reese just got a lot, a lot of like flack for, I mean, the way she's been acting, but how do y'all feel overall? I think it's unfair. Yeah. Caitlin yeah. acts up all the damn time and because she's white, nobody has nothing to mm. say about it. And when people lose, it's a natural feeling to be upset. Right. And Caitlin gets mad in the middle of a game because somebody made a shot. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And her aggression comes out. So for y'all to be upset that Angel Reese looked a little bit upset because she lost. Like, it's she like it just shows time and time again in every sports world from tennis to women's basketball, especially when it comes to women's sports. Y'all do not like black women. Y'all really do yeah. not because y'all go out of y'all's way every time to say we're overreacting. We have an attitude problem. And it's like, but y'all choose to watch these short sports where there's majority black women in it to begin with. So it's right. like, it's mm-hmm. not logical to me. I, I don't like how like, Sports commentators are like coming down on her, saying that she doesn't have a right to be a show emotion. And it's like to me, she has every right. Like she's being bullied online, mm-hmm. on the court, mm-hmm. in interviews. Mm-hmm. Like y'all bully her everywhere, and, feel, and y'all act like she's not a real mm-hmm. person. Like she can't have feelings. I feel like she has every right to be emotional. And I honestly enjoyed watching her teammates stand up for her yeah. because yeah. someone had yeah. to. Yeah. Because honestly. that's ridiculous. Like she's a good person. And y'all are trying to defame her, but you know what, girl? Shout out to you going to the WNBA draft. Because the way you even announced that girl, look, a With queen. Her cover of Vogue. Like, love that for her, girl. Okay, and not even just that. I, I, I lost that, the game, but I'm on Vogue. That's What's what I'm up? saying. I think that people have to give Angel her flowers. Literally, like, Angel brought back the momentum the po- to yeah, the like women's to women's basketball, basketball. like college basketball especially for sure. no mm-hmm. even in general. Like people are more mm-hmm. excited about women's to, to about women's basketball, yeah. like. 
people are more excited about the final four for women than they than are they for are about, men. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? So it's like people have to realize like she literally brought back like all of this. So Angel low-key carried college women. She may not have been the best player because don't get me wrong, I think that Caitlin's actually a very good player. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. a she, good player. So like I'm not even gonna like right. take that away from her. But in the sense of like the sport in general, like overall, right. Angel carried that on her back. Yeah. So and she'll carry it to the WNBA. Girl. I'm excited yeah. for her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But oh yeah. Last thing, y'all, JT and Glow. Oh, I forgot about it's that. It's an ongoing battle as we speak. So what's going on? Like why why is JT so upset with Glow? Is JT I don't want to share. So I mean this. Damn, from dude. what I read, <laughs> what I said, the fact that they're literally that. going back and forth as we're speaking. Yeah. So the fact that, okay, so y'all know it's been an alleged rumor that uh, Glorilla slapped JT at some award show or some event. I don't know what it was, but nobody ever addressed it. Well, Glorilla or JT, well, to my knowledge, it wasn't addressed for a really long time. JT mm-hmm. allegedly came out and said that she did address it. I never saw that. And said that it never happened. <laughs> now, that I'm glad you said that. <laughs> <laughs> just saying I was like, when where did you say that, that? like because right. everybody was asking and it was trending and nobody said anything so right. I'm like okay maybe it did happen <laughs> so everybody ran with it um, JT just sorry Glorilla just dropped a song recently and in the song she said in the song that her and JT are not beefing um, I don't know they're not, not the best close. of friends they're not the best of friends but they're not beefing yeah, right no beef and so somebody obviously there's comments on the song um somebody com- made a comment was like okay so who came up with this rumor and jt was like i don't know i've been i said it a long time ago that it never happened she uh you know she decided to make a song you know her song she's like slapping rap bitches and and everybody yeah, she, she was talking did. about jt so oh, you know i, I never stop it pussy little ho. yeah Michelle took, so yeah. J- everybody so so jt was like you know i shut it down a long time ago but she's the one that decides to make a song about it and play into it instead of shutting it down but now she wants to be on this sem- semi like kumbaya friendly stuff i'm not with it and so now they're going back and forth and again it's honestly it's just a bunch of like i just feel like they, all the girls are beefing like, i'm this, tired like, from the I'm last that i saw it's gone a little far because jt herself posted her little cube of her mug shots and circled the last one that said soon to come basically saying after she gets done with whooping gorilla <laughs> <laughs> as she going back to jail and i'm like it didn't need to go that far yeah it like and jt it, like, like grow why up, would you want to go back but to jail but then talking about you slapping rap bitches slap me no but and then so wait and then well that's what she said hold on so after that <laughs> Glorilla was like, okay, you posted all your mug shots, but sister, they were all for stealing, theft, not like stealing, not fighting. So let's be actually be serious because I actually did, I didn't slap you, but I hit you in my purse. So now it's hard. Wait, like she's so, that's what happened. That's so it did happen. So it did happen. That's what she said. She's, I don't know. Like, see, I don't. I, Okay, that's what's I'll on be Twitter. Real, like, ah, so, like, right? Just, so I don't know. I don't know. What I don't want another this? like Cardi it's Nikki a, type yeah. shit. I, y'all which, like get I mean, along. Just make music and get along. And y'all don't have to fool with each other. But why is it every time like lyrics have to be dissected and now it's like beef going back and forth, doing all this stuff? Y'all like y'all are both trying to rise up and take over. Like, what's going on here? But at the same time, like, me and JT not the best of friends, but we not beefing like. Yeah, y'all, it's not it's like, why did you but then she mentioned she didn't mention Nikki and Cardi to like mend things because a song to together would do numbers yeah she, she did. did say that too so it's like that's why are y'all not talking about that too so basically she, no this is the thing i mean it's, both were positive i think though. the word like, jt I don't think she was being negative in that lyric i think where jt's coming from jt's like you're trying to like do this whole like positive rap girl, girl. unity mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but whenever it came to slapping rap bitches <laughs> you didn't have nothing to say so now don't you i don't me- think she did either what do you jt mean? Did she ever address the getting she, slapped? She's saying she thinks well, she, well, she did. Well, Rilla says in her song she has out slapping rap bitches and making lyrics the thing again. Is, I never knew that was about JT. Yes, yeah. allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. See, but that's still, what I'm saying. I thought, like I thought Glow is like on this whole like I'm coming back, I'm that bitch stuff. So, I, I thought, I thought that's she was what that's about. Like, like I'm that girl. Like no, she, I'm I'm slapping y'all cross charts. But I think that's, <laughs> I think that's what JT's point is is that you're coming and you're letting these you're kind of taking advantage of the rumors mm-hmm. to sell a song because if a, there's a rumor out that you slap jt and you make you don't clear it up you come out with a song that says slapping rap bitches and making bail and then you come out with another song saying me and jt aren't the best of friends it's kind of just like stop so talking about like someone yeah. i mean to this rumor. or yeah. is jt upset that she took advantage of the opportunity first you know what i'm saying 
because like the song that's what sold. it sounds like. The song so that's Let's what it sounds like. And the song it's, she's, it's, JT could have done the same thing as put it in a song, but, but, but she didn't. But that's that's, 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 that's what JT, that's where the problem. That's what JT's saying. Right don't say you're all about yeah. rap unity if you're going to use a rap. No, I don't think she's trying to do unity. No, she is. But that's making song was about. That's what song was about. Game recognized game. Like it's just opportunity. You didn't take missed opportunity. Respectfully, it's okay. Okay, y'all. A lot of artists have missed opportunities. Let's just say missed his opportunity with the diss. Like a lot of people miss opportunities. It happens. I just think J. Cole seven minutes fire. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, he didn't I miss his know. opportunity. He Yikes. didn't miss his opportunity. See, that's what I'm saying. I just feel like <laughs> I just feel like at the end of the day, your team's not working. <laughs> your team is not working. Oh my, okay, go okay. with the fans. <laughs> no, 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 that's that's not, not, no. I love JT. Whoa, I, I like JT, JT a lot. But what I'm saying is that opportunity. She's no, it's not well. that. It's just y'all like JT this doesn't industry need to talk is about people to make rap. A lot of rapping about y'all. Y'all are kind of like contradicting yourselves from episodes ago. What I'm saying is that it's opportunity being missed. It's unfortunate you didn't do it. What opportunity was missed? Because here's the thing. She she had a ver. She had there was a rumor, and she made instead of addressing it, she made a song about it. And that's what and you JT made honestly, Why would JT make you? Why would JT make a song about her allegedly getting slapped? <laughs> didn't get slapped. But if it, but okay, if if it, it ever happened, then talk then about it in a song. Come on, y'all. But that's but y'all okay. Come on. But not everybody wants to get clout off a controversy. Oh, yeah, yeah, because the team's not working. It's not about teams it working. Is, so it's it about is. everyone's brand is different. Not everybody and wants a controversy and, okay, sale. But what I'm saying let's keep it. Let's keep it real. But Glorilla had to come that way because Sexy Red came and took over. Thank so her you. team did whatever that needed part. to be done and to propel her. Like, and, and it worked. Rare and it worked. opportunities. And it worked. Okay, it's okay. Like, no one's dissing JT because like, I like her a lot. But I think it's a opportunity for JT. Why would I write a song about me allegedly getting slapped? That doesn't make any sense. It's not about that, but you a song, alleged it, raps in your songs all the time because you talk about how you doing this with every single nigga and you with Lil Uzi. So let's not act white like with alleged. someone that don't like. Would you even say you shade Cardi B in all your songs? They don't these opportunities. It's okay. It's okay, guys. Y'all, it's I, I, I think we're all saying the same thing, but it's bitches. like she said we've introduced a new area Lo, of conversation Lo did what she had to do and her team I, I did mean, she, did, but yeah. she did what she had to do because she had to Ex and, and, exactly. and it worked in her favor okay, like, it and it worked in her why, favor why does it sound like I don't know like, but it's it's like what, we can't even have real conversations about real things anymore but, it's like shade sure. on shade but it reminds me <laughs> of what J. Cole said when J. Cole said if, if he wasn't if he wasn't dissing, then we wouldn't be discussing you. And his new rap, a lot of people, it's like, Timmy's like, bro, every single time you come out, it has to be a controversy mixtape, a controversy song. We drop a heat over here, and you have to say shit like that to get your name buzzed in. So shout out to Cole. He said, every, he, got, he said, yo, first, he said, your first album was good. Your second album was trash, but they gassed it. I was like, you know what? I don't, mean, you're not don't talk about Kendrick. I know you're not talking about Kendrick. Is he? That, yes, right. he is. Yes. And he should his not second be. album was not trash. His second album wasn't trash at all. The only album that I did not fuck I, I with feel, was I feel Jake on Mr. Uh, the, the Butterflies one. That was the second one. No, that was not. I'm not oh, going. I'm talking about mixtapes. <laughs> Yikes. When I tell you, J. Cole, and everyone keeps saying J. Cole didn't eat up. He did, just because y'all don't like the beat. The, yeah, it's the beat that they don't like. No. The lyrics did what need to be done. Like, he didn't have to yell to get his point across. But when did Kendrick yell? Bum. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, 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 what do you mean? But honestly, I, I like I like this whole like going for the top three. I like this whole the top three. Bum. But I'm not gonna. I like this whole like going song for song. Like let's yeah. keep it up. Like let's, let's make no, rap fun again. No, girls like, take notes. Yeah, 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 girls start taking no, notes. No, I need y'all to make get it one of them summers. Let's do it. Let's do it. Period. Should we didn't even get to talk about we don't trust you. Like okay, there's so much going on. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, I know. Okay, y'all making our summer entertainment. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank How you. do y'all like y'all really believe Drake and Future are beefing? Yes, I do. Yeah. About oh, yes. what? Absolutely. Oh, bitch. Because Drake what said, "What would Future I did it? What if what would Pluto oh, do? He fucked the bitch up." Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyways, yeah. Drake and Future are beefing. Well, and it's so here. selfish. Yeah, because like we're know. never gonna get like another Drake what a time like, to be alive. Like, like, yeah, we song, are. Honey. They made him and Meek beef, then and they ended up on a song together. Future and Meek are two different people. They'll be alright. Yo, yeah, that, I don't they know, know that, that song. They know they made transformational Meek, music. Meek, Meek, okay, what's again, the Meek Mill Drake song? And I, I love can't Meek Mill, but <laughs> no, sorry, girl. They, they, I haven't seen a uh, a part a collab album from Meek and someone else that has done numbers twice. Oh no, but that's like, what I'm saying. Like they'll eventually get back. Meek just put a whole album, in. and it was good. And it disappeared. I mean. But all the these Mills albums made, do disappear. They made no noise. It, but it's not even that. No, it made noise to his fans, y'all. Chill out. Okay. Chill out. <laughs> Chill out. It did make noise. It made
made noise to his fans, but when unfortunately, it, it got stepped on. It got stepped on because everything going on. That's what happened. Remember that same week, oh, the whole the thing D- about the sex allegations came out. That's it got crazy. stepped on. I'm gonna go ahead and transition in a completely <laughs> different direction from what we've been on. So please excuse us. Um, but I want to talk about like money finances life like influence kind of what we talked about earlier because i do feel like we are in really rough times like mm-hmm. they literally are saying that we are headed in the direction of a fucking um recession, recession mm-hmm. basically <laughs> <laughs> costs are rising income is not necessarily increasing for people and people are like literally struggling like between the videos i see on tiktok and what people talk about on twitter like people are out here really struggling so i did want to bring that today as a conversation um i guess given the state that we're in Ooh, child. Sorry. My eyes water. Oh. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's most of the topic, I understand. Oh, girl, no, it it's my eyes. My eyes was la- from was laughing harsh, about no, this. When thing. you talk about money, yeah, it's serious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I want to ask, given the climate that we're in, um, what have you guys started doing to kind of help with your budgeting or savings? I've stopped spending money. I stopped ridiculously. I stopped shopping in fast fashion. Yeah. Um, and everything is fast fashion these days. But before I used to just be like, okay, let me, I used to do like mini hauls. Like, let me just get a whole bunch of stuff and see what I like. I never return to things I don't like. So I just stopped all that shit. Now yeah. it's just like pieces. For me, I stopped shopping at sales because I feel yeah. like there's always a sale. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, that's especially so whenever it comes to like designer stuff, it's mm-hmm. always something that's like, oh, 40% off. And I, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, I need this. Like, I got to mm-hmm. get it. But now I'm just like, nah, like, I don't need it. At yeah. all, so I really stopped with sales. Nah, I, I became, stopped. Oh, oh, go ahead. I, I would say oh. I became a DIY girl. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Like I started doing a lot of things on my own, like yep. makeup on my own, hair. Like I just started doing a lot of things because it's like that stuff gets expensive. Nails. Like even yeah. when it came to like house decor, like house stuff, I started doing a lot of stuff on my own. Spray paint if I have to. Like I'm not calling up, but like I just yeah. started doing it on my own mm-hmm. because it's just like it's just at my own convenience. So I don't buy things in bulk anymore. Like it's one at a time. It's if I finish it, okay, it will be replaced. I used to be a type of person like if there's like a sale or something going on, oh I'm gonna get five of these for five dollars, uh, twenty five for five, and it's like no, You're I'm just gonna buy it. one for five dollars, and when that's finished, I if I have to replace it, I will, and if I have to pay regular price, it's okay. Like you save so much money not mm-hmm. spending all that money up front, and then two. I become a DIY girl. I do my own nails. Y'all know I used to be a real nail girl, but y'all, nails too. Started messing up my nails because some of these nail techs be acting a little crazy with the nail bed drill. And two, pricing. Nails, y'all, like, with nails, I have to speak to this. There's no reason why these friendships should be costing anything over $50. Honestly. No facts. And now the fact that this French is chips go for one twenty. No, no, for, yeah. no, bro. This that is twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. <laughs> We're in, we're on week three. So I, no. Mm-mm. I think for me, like you said, Nikki, in regards to shopping like sales, and I just really started paying attention to the stuff that I was spending a lot of money on. The quality just was not there for me anymore. Yeah. Like I'm spending a certain amount of money on shoes and the first I wear them out, they're fucking up. And I'm like, I could have just went to the mall and spent a fraction of this. You know what I mean? And I started really paying attention that it was all designers. Even just the price on things that I bought previously, maybe I want to know the color. It's now seven hundred dollars more. Mm-hmm. Why am I paying seven hundred seven hundred dollars more for this same mm-hmm. bag that I have in a different color? Because you think that all of a sudden it needs to be worth. It. And the bag not even worth what I paid to begin with. It. You know what I mean? Right. And when I realized that, I was like, bro, I'm actually mm-hmm. unless I know this is something I've been coveting, I absolutely have to have. I'm not buying anything. But I have my, not bought any type of big purchase like that in a very long time because I don't feel like the quality matches the prices anymore. But my question is, do y'all think that these designers like prices are going up because they're also they're feeling struggling. like everyone's struggling. the hit of the recession or you think it's like greed no both. i think it's greed and they're struggling it's greed i mean I'm they're paying greed. like 30 these workers like 30 cents to make this stuff yeah. i think it's yeah. really just and they're also trying to squeeze out a certain demographic from being able to purchase that's true honest. the more people are able the more they see people are able to afford it they're just like eh, let's hack it up yeah let's hack it. price yeah 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 Mm-mm. so so i want to rewind because i know a lot of y'all kind of mentioned like in regards to like helping save money, you've kind of gone like the DIY route. Like, but think about like before you even decide to start doing certain things on your own or cutting back. Like, what do you guys think your monthly like expenses were that you were spending on beauty before you decided beauty, to change it? I probably was spending um, almost probably like a thousand dollars, probably, and that's concluding hair, makeup, nails, eyebrows, lashes, lashes waxes, <laughs> waxes. All this stuff, like, that's yeah. almost a thousand a month. Yeah. So that's your your now like now you're saving twelve thousand a year mm-hmm. by doing it yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For me, to be honest with you, I really didn't have a very expensive, like, monthly maintenance because I've been wearing wigs for 
years now. Mm-hmm. So like with me with wigs, I can just change those out. Mm-hmm. But don't get me wrong, wigs yeah. are very expensive. So like when you're yeah. buying it in that one time, mm-hmm. it's very expensive. But it does in the bundles. In the bundles, it yeah. does. But it does go throughout mm-hmm. more more than it just stretches. one month. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then for me with nails, I've always been kind of basic whenever it comes to my nails. So my nails were never like super mm-hmm. crazy. They were like $50, maybe a hundred, including my pedicure. And I don't do lashes. So yes. like for me, like yeah. it, huh? So it must be nice. nice. I'll take 200 yeah, so, in nails. Yeah. So for me, it was literally like Ooh. a very, <laughs> that's a lot. Girl. 200 is Paula crazy. was getting designs like, yeah, every I was nail. doing yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. like she, she was. was charging like 150 yeah, a tip yeah, yeah. and then you get your but for pedicure me, like it's 200. The reason why I realized I had like where my expenses came in was with the house. Like mm-hmm. that's what I realized. I was like, okay, that's a maintenance within itself. You know, mm-hmm. that increased my bills tremendously. Right. So that's why I had to start doing. I think my expenses cost like 600, which I don't think is bad because I think that kind of fluctuates if I'm getting a new set or if I was doing a feel for my lashes. But I just realized that like, like Paulette said, I was spending a lot of money on nails. And for what? Like, just getting intricate designs. Now I go, I get something really basic. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm in my basic but even area. now, like, because I go to somebody like, perf- well, I go to somebody, not a salon, like, my nails do last a very long <laughs> <laughs> Didn't she not a professional? Oh, oh, just I, mean, I mean, I feel, yeah. I didn't want to say her house is mm-hmm. told me, like, that's not professional, but it's, I'm like. It's not, but I feel you <laughs> for keeping it a book. <laughs> Dang. It was our 4K. She's not going to hear like, this. Is she professional? Like, my bad. I mean, she but has no, a license. Yeah, she has, yeah license. she has a license. Yeah, I don't oh, know. Okay. I okay, just, cool. but you know, you tell some people the don't thing is, have licenses out people, of their house. But the thing is, I, we would all the time, oh, I like your nails. And I say, oh, she does it in her house. People are turned off from it. So I'm oh, not going to lie. Wow. I'm at the point now where, like, when people ask me, I, that's why I shied away from saying in her house because when people ask, they're like, oh, they're, they're too good to go to her. And I'm yeah. like, I've been going to her in her house for a long time and I like it. And she's licensed. Right. But, anyways, to my point, um, <laughs> Her nails last a long time. So I realized, like, depending on, like I said, even with lashes, Quality. you can yeah. stretch it out in between the one month into the next month. So it's like, it was kind of like decreasing it, but I had to get rid of lashes. I'm telling oh, you, yeah. the lashes, lashes was easy. Lashes had to fucking go. Because when I added up what I spent lashes on lashes for a lashes one lashes year in lashes, bro, and, and each and, bill and is with at the least tips, $1,300. Some nice clusters. A feel, nice a feel is 80 to $100. So imagine a full shit. set is like 120 I think my, and I want volume. So yeah, we talking 180 like 200 for a new yeah, set. Yeah, 160 175 for a new set. That's why a I feel like... A feel, 80 to $100. That's why all these last checks, they had to go and get other jobs. I really feel like a lot of other people like I mean, really cut out. The pricing was phasing them out. Eating. Like, but the thing is, they were eating because there was a one point in time I was like, damn... These bitches kept posting. I'm already Whoa. at 100k five months into the year. <laughs> I'm like, damn, dude, I need that. to learn lashes. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like, <laughs> but also yeah, too, like, they're they're not really they they don't have strong business models because honestly, like, DIY culture has always been here. Mm-hmm. It's I'm like, I'm, always been here heavy. Y'all. I'm about to learn how to do some. And I think it's Gen Z though. It's I think Gen Z know own. it's just pricing. I'm not gonna lie. No, I think Gen Z is really, really the one who took DIY. Yeah. I think Gen Z is the one who took DIY to like the extreme. Because if you think about it, Gen Z is the one who even created tiktok like they're the ones who took made tiktok take off what it was so it's like to the point of where it was yeah absolutely I like i think that gen z is like have been like because like if you think about it the og content creators like the people that were in like the millennials you can kind of n- name a lot of them on your hand there's a lot of gen z content creators and influencers mm-hmm. I, I i really feel like they took social media in took it to the next level. They did, mm-hmm. but I, I will say, like, TikTok made it, like, accessible. Like, let, made mm-hmm. it let everybody know that it's accessible to everybody. Yeah. Everybody can do it. So it's like, we're showing you how easy it is to right. put on lashes, how easy it is to go buy some nails and glue them on yourself. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. even during the pandemic, when I think that's when it really became a thing where it's like, everybody, pandemic, like, yeah. you could not go and get your nails done. So people were really learning how to file them off and put them bitches back on. So And, like, to speak towards the, um, you said the last business, like people are going out of business. A lot of people didn't have a plan to restructure their business if something like this came about. Mm-hmm. So that is why they had to close their shops down because mm-hmm. they, they couldn't sustain, sustain their business mm-hmm. anymore. But my question is to move on from that. Like, do y'all think like influencers are like kind of like contributing to this overconsumption? People living beyond their means and not really, you know, cutting their coat according to their size? Oh yeah, absolutely. I think that, okay, this is, this is where I think it is. The issue is, is that I had to, I didn't think that I was being influenced and then until I realized how much I was being yeah. influenced. Mm-hmm. Same. And how much I was actually spending money on things. Like, I just see someone like, oh, something from Amazon. Oh, I got to get it. Mm-hmm. Yep. It looks cute. <laughs> Amazon was that big one. Yeah. yeah. Amazon mm-hmm. like, oh, what? I need this. Like, mm-hmm. I, I have a use for this. But it's like, how many uses do I have for all these things? Mm-hmm. You know? And mm-hmm. I had to realize, like, 
I do think that influencers are contributing to that. Like, but that's their job. Yeah. They're they're meant to influence. Yeah. They're I just think doing that- what they're paid to do also like kind of pushes like fast fashion because i'm telling you somebody hop on there post them in the czar fitting room and you got a million people in the comments what's the code and i'm like to be honest czar clothes cheap no it's i'm glad you wash cheap. them they don't they yeah. you can, it'll never fit the, the same the quality has really gone czar is fast fashion at, czar, yes is but when i work the way it zara, moves on it tiktok fast fashion. fast fashion 2013 quality to now it's fast girl fashion. it's fast you think top shop is fast fashion it's all fast fashion. everything, everything has is. become fast fashion mm. Because the way people are posting something and it's going viral <laughs> I think like that. quality and fast fashion are not the same thing. I feel like, yeah. I don't think Zara is fast fashion. I wouldn't consider it fast Zara fashion. Zara is 100% I, I, Zara fast fashion. Zara is fast fashion now. No, it's been fast fashion. Because even before, before like, like the, the pandemic, has dwindled. I think the pandemic. Zara still has pretty good quality. No, okay, no, so that's so, what I'm saying. I think quality and fast fashion to me are different things. Mm-hmm. Like, I think fast fashion would be like, Quick fashion clothes, Nova. like yeah, Fashion Nova and like some some PLT Gen, where it's like yeah. you can get like cheap like spandex and just wear them out, like right, or get like cheap like looking the little lingerie, like the the cheap poster girl looking stuff, mm-hmm. and like just wear. I think that's what fast fashion because it's just like cheap put together like looks. But I think, they're definitely included bazaars too. No, but that's what I'm saying. I think if we're gonna talk about quality, then there's a different. Well, I disagree. Story. I would say Zara fast fast fashion to me is something that's like. It's, it's fashion that's being mass produced on a wide scale and it's just being pumped up very quickly and the trends are going to change and all those other things. And I definitely think uh, Zara falls into that category because, I mean, now Zara does have, like, there's three different, um, like, sections. And the highest section is Zara Women's and that is the only section of Zara that is, like, considered top quality. And that's mm-hmm. the stuff that's going to be, like, eighty nine ninety and above. But the rest of it is, is, is very much fast fashion. Fast fashion. I'm not going to lie. It's supposed to be on par <laughs> with, like, for every 21, it was created, like, the cloths and everything they use is different. Mm-hmm. I used to work at Zara, and I'm not going to lie, Dang. even, like, they would straight up and say, like, this is a dupe for this, this is a dupe for that, these are our Steve Madden dupes, these are our Prada dupes, these are our Gucci dupes. These are the lawsuits we even anticipate getting because we already know Prada's going to sue us for this shoe, so if you want this shoe, Which buy it by crazy. the end of the month. Like, yeah, they're just, they're literally Zara an, an outlet. Even just, like, that's what, uh, even changed. when you go in there, though, like, don't expect to ever see, when you go in there and you leave, whatever you saw that time, you'll, you'll never, never see that again. Yeah, they're like, yeah. constantly you, changing. You better get it then because they're not, it's gone forever. It's a melting pot, but like, I don't know. So in regards to fast fashion, even with like what ordering stuff online, like you, Michelle, you said you never send stuff back. Do y'all send stuff back? Immediately. Yes. If it I does do. not fit, it's going back. Yeah. Even that yeah. day. Same. Like that day. And Sorry, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm returning. If it don't work more. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Because returning. it's like, it's not even, uh, honestly, it's not even a money thing, but it's like, I don't have I don't, room. Yeah. Like, I don't want this. So it's like, mm-hmm. what am I going to do with it? Just stare at it? For like fast I'm fashion back. websites, I don't. Like, I don't. I, I just, do. You just give it away? I do. I need to get better. Yeah, it just kind of like, honestly, like it's one of those things where I feel like it's a hassle to like more of a hassle to send it back, send it back. And then now they charge you to send things back. So at this point, I'm like, I might as well just give it to somebody else. Someone See, else will have it. It has support. gotten a little bit better though, because now yeah, they like, do it where like when you it, it, it's a QR code and mm-hmm. sometimes some of them, all of them need to do it. They'll take the shipping out of your refund versus you paying fashion over your hoes yeah, for charging sure people to send something back. Yeah. yeah. Force me with a gift card. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway. And forcing me with a gift card. <laughs> That's no, not I've right. had, yeah. I've had a revolving gift card credit for a year now because I return stuff. So it's like, they just keep reaching. And they don't combine and eventually so you'll have all my money yeah, like, from paying you the first to take the refund shipping. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I just really don't I don't really don't regret I, it. I see yeah. that's and that's why I, I try to avoid even like I don't know, buying like bulk clothes because yeah. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. 85 to 90 percent of it always works for me. And so it's just like I always end up keeping it. I'm yeah, just like, see, no. that's what's for me. If it doesn't work, I have to send it back because I'm going to keep everything and everything's gonna work and I'm gonna wear it eventually. So I'm like, mm-mm. See, like, it's, it doesn't work, I'm just sending it back. The only reason I stopped doing that because like Okay, so I'm getting personal here. So I've, I've like gained weight. And so I would buy clothes and I'm like, oh, I'm going to work out and lose it and I'll uh, wear it. You're not going mm, to do that. Mm. You're not. Sorry, I'm not trying to be negative here. You're just not. Like, let's be just realistic buy here. Your size. Buy clothes that caters to where you're at yeah. at that moment. Mm-hmm. And then if you lose weight mm-hmm. or gain weight, you just, mm-hmm. hey, look. Taylor. That's the reason why I've always, do. that's the reason why I've Don't always store been, clothes. And I'm not going to lie because I feel like Jory used to do this a lot. I don't know if you still do this, but you would be like, oh, just buy buy um you buy like multiple dresses like for one occasion i can't do that because i'm i'm really bad at returning things mm. like yeah. i'm too yeah so like that's the reason why i can't do that like i would love to be able to have options like okay let me just buy three different dresses and i'm just gonna pick one mm-hmm. and then i'll return the other two but knowing me 
I can't return them. Oh, see, no, I, the, I, 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 I'm, I'm too indecisive, and the reason why I'm returning it because if I'm buying options like that, that means I'm spending three, four hundred dollars. Yeah, right. So I'm yeah. definitely gonna get my money right. back. But the problem mm-hmm. with that is the recite. Like you spend money, money comes back. So I, yes. honestly, I haven't really been shopping. I was cleaning out my closet. Mm-hmm. It was so many things with tags. So many right. things that I just swore I was gonna wear to the point where like I have like over four bins worth of clothes that I have to donate. Yeah. And that like closet looking empty. Am I rushing to fill it? No, because yeah. why? Like I don't want to end up in that same cycle again. So I'm like, I need to find a better way to shop for what I actually need versus me shopping every time I want to go outside. I think it's good to, um, what I'm working on is creating a time capsule wardrobe. Like having select pieces. Like honestly, mm-hmm. this whole, fa- Fast Fast is the reason why we have closets full of clothes mm-hmm. because we're always buying like Trendy hauls, stuff. hauls, yeah. hauls. And everything's always 80% no. off. Go to like off. Express and you find a nice shirt you can piece it, it together with a lot of other things. <laughs> See, that's why I try cool. to stop buying clothes that are like have prints and stuff. Like I yeah, buy a lot more basics. solid and yeah. basic stuff because that print shit is. They can be translate like, better. And I'll talk. And the thing is, if you don't end up wearing it two months down the line, I don't even like this. Like, nope. Ugh, everything I, I was like, I'll wear it later. It's still sitting there, and I'm like, why did I do that? With but realistically, time. like, okay, think about y'all's everyday needs. Think about you know, like your lifestyle. Realistically, how much money? Do you think that y'all need to make yearly Million right now dollars. in this climate <laughs> yeah. well, to be able to support a yourself? You have a question. You answer, you get canceled. Yeah, honestly, oh, yeah. I need a million dollars. I would like no, to double facts. my pay. Thank yeah. you. A million. That'd be great. I need more. How about yeah. that? Yeah. I just want my, what is it, my and net? I, and that's just, and even, I'm not, what's the net pay? I want the pay with the taxes. I want the one without the taxes. I want the one with the taxes. Oh my gosh. Double the taxes. Double fucking They be disrespecting people with that net pay coming around like, y'all. No. Where is that money going to? The gross pay. But that's just a little scary because I feel like every point in life where I make more money, I mean, it's just never, I feel like it's never enough. It's never enough. Your lifestyle matters. Yeah, your, 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 your lifestyle shouldn't really be matching your income. Like, you should be living under your means. Absolutely. Should be, but, I mean, it's life. No, yeah. but, no, but, you, but there are people doing it. When I say it's never, it, obviously it works, but it's just like, damn, like, it gets to the point where it's like, you want more? Okay, yeah, yeah. like, okay, I, I want more. Like, yeah. Do you think that, oh, go ahead. Uh, no, I was going to bring up the um, 50, 25, 25 rule, and I was actually, and I wish I knew her name, but I was actually re- uh, listening to a podcast about this, and she was just talking about how, like, it's sometimes it gets really hard to save, especially, mm-hmm. like, in this life. It's like, you really want to enjoy your money because at the end of the day, like, who knows life when our time promise, is, you know? Yeah. Right? So, like, and it's hard to save when you don't know what you're saving for. You mm-hmm. don't have, like, a set goal. So what she proposed with the 50, 25, 25 rule, where she said, fit, like, and this is minimum. Now, if you can do above that. That's fine. But she said 50% of your, um, 50% of your salary or whatever should be set aside for bills. 25% of it should go to savings and 25% of it is your play money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I think agree. I watched that podcast because yeah. I, I I do remember that because I was going back and forth between that. And then also, I know, I feel like Dave Ramsey can sometimes be like a little, Extreme. but he actually has some really, really good, good tips, tips yeah. whenever it comes mm-hmm. to like money, like paying off debt and different things like that. Like, and because, like, whenever I was whenever I was listening to it, I was like, dang, this sounds so hard. Mm-hmm. Like, I was like, how can I put aside only this much to my, live my to yeah. live off of? Like, this is only for me. But when you really do it and, like, you really break it down, it's really not that bad. Not, and before you yeah. know it, you're going to be so excited because your savings is, like, going up mm-hmm. so much mm-hmm. that it's like... You, you're going to want to cut back. And I also think it's extremely important, too, to start practicing these things because when you have kids, that's going to be more expensive. I don't know how I'm going to afford a child. I even no, think about, I don't know. <laughs> I can't even say it. <laughs> but, you myself. know, kids don't be looking. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're looking like, like, like you're not in the budget. For the rest of my life. You're not in the budget. Literally. <laughs> I'm signing a 360 for real. <laughs> like, like, damn. Like, you can't you know, get out of your own like, fucking. Uh, like. But I do want to add, though, like, in regards to savings for us trying to give, like, tips and tricks to y'all. Like, my mom told me this when I was young. And it's just been the best thing for me is, like, if you have a hard time saving money or have never even started anywhere, like, the easiest thing you can do is literally set up your direct deposit so a certain mm-hmm. amount is automatically yeah. over there. Mm-hmm. Because when it was up to me, I was just spending. And mm-hmm. when my mama told me that, I literally changed it. And now every month, I don't have to worry about what am I going to say this month because it's right. already over there. I'm not looking over mm-hmm. there. And whatever is left in my account is money that I can do what I please mm-hmm. with. And that's the easiest way. Like, people think you have to, I don't have a lot to give. My mom has separate accounts like that where she has like a vacation account and literally fifty dollars mm-hmm. out of her check goes into that vacation account. And she told me the other day she's like, I have five thousand dollars over there. You know, mm-hmm. like and it's just yeah. fifty dollars. People think like it doesn't have to be a thousand you have to put back every month. Mm-hmm. You can literally put whatever you want and the money will stack for some type of emergency because you never know what's gonna happen or what the amount is gonna be, but it's there to assist you. So but I think the big thing with it. that too is having two separate banks. Yep. Oh yeah. Because That's the important. thing is it's like it's very easy to 
pull Transfer, from that savings yeah. so whenever to... it's like a savings and a checking all mm-hmm. in one bank. But I think it's important that and I feel like that's really, really what helped me out was I have two different bank. I have two different savings account and I have a checking account. Mm-hmm. And so my my two different savings accounts had two different reasons. Like Jory said, like at that time I was saving towards a house. Mm-hmm. So I had one bank account that was strictly towards a house. And then I had my another one was just like strictly just towards savings in general. Mm-hmm. And then I had my checking. That's what I paid, you know, mm-hmm. my bills out of. That's mm-hmm. what I did my me stuff out of. So I think it's important, like, to have different banks. Yeah. And to See, oh, also sorry. get a high yield savings. Yeah, account. I was about to say, mm-hmm. look, I got a like, reference let your money code. Work for you. If anybody wants a Goldman Sachs one, I do have a high yield savings. But it, what's the percentage? Five point five for me what? right now. Five point five. Mine's four point eight. I'm at four point eight with a Capital One. Mm-hmm. You say you're at four what? Four Mine's four point eight with Capital One. Girl, I got a reference code. Maybe. I got a reference code. I, I, I mean, yeah, I would like Ally to code. has a good one. Goldman Sachs has a good one. Capital but I also think that too. I think yeah. that what people don't realize, and that's why I had to start realizing, you don't really make money by money just sitting in an nope. account. You yeah. don't. Yeah. No, you don't. You, you have, have to no, invest. You have to. And if you're not a good investor, that is what people Mess go up. to college for. And people go and they get an education mm-hmm. for. There are CPAs, and I know that it sounds like it's expensive. But if you want to make money, you have to spend money sometimes. Should we have to be but careful with CPAs as well? Like time, investing yeah. your money and running off with it. Like you just have to be well, careful. That's with anything. Time, I know, like, but that's why people don't do it a lot. Trusting someone to put your money somewhere and actually yeah. put it where it's supposed to go. But I also feel like as a young adult, like uh, everybody, especially when the pandemic, everybody was like invest, 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 invest. And like oh, you man. don't learn that stuff overnight, right? No. So obviously before you get to actually learning it, your money is sitting, bro. While it's sitting, put it in a high yield savings. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. I agree. You know like, no, but yeah. if you're not doing anything with it, high yield, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm saying if you want to make money money like not just yeah but the thing is again even with investing you gotta have money to invest like the, you these little you invest, but you know you, you do real, you i mean do. not necessarily and like, i think do. i think that's what scares people from yeah. saving thinking that you have to have like bulks of money to say no you can start with little as 50 dollars no, and yeah. start someone somewhere. put 200 dollars into literally, bitcoin and they have a million. literally girl it's exactly. like and if they did not start. if they didn't happen but today. if they <laughs> it did no come bitcoin, back bitcoin went over like it's literally overnight but like, look at us. People yeah. started Bitcoin with zero, with zero. Someone was sitting here on YouTube trying to sell Bitcoin to us. And now Bitcoin's at what? 70,000 70, right right per one Bitcoin. But I will agree because during the pandemic, uh, everyone around me was like really into stocks. So I was like, I'm going to take 500, just put it in there and see what it do. I'm not going to After a while, it's like once you really get into it yeah. and start looking, you start that small money. little $500 made Turns a lot of something. money. Yeah. And that's what I was just trying to test it. So, but also too, I just feel like even just starting the forming the habit of saving, it can build up to something. It's Mm -hmm. the mindset. You can't always focus so much on the amount, the mindset of saving, and then before you know, you'll have the opportunity to now be putting in more. And before you know it, in five years, you've already accumulated X amount. And like, look at that. Mm -hmm. You know, I have another tip actually, and Nikki actually put me onto this: the Capital app. Was it Capital Capital? I look, oh, he still uses it to this day. Like, yeah, like, I just turned it on that one time, and I never have turned it off. Like, and it's so crazy because, like, so what it does is, like, it, you connect your bank account, and it rounds up every dollar. You can that set it spend. to, like, 25 cents, a dollar, five dollar. Yeah, and mm-hmm. it's basically, like, keep the change. So it's, it's like, savings. one day I looked, in and it was, like, 5K in there. And I was yeah. like, hmm, okay, Before cool. Before you know it, it's just like a debit it's just card. Like a, like, it's just, yeah. it's, you just literally link your debit card to it. And like I said, like, if you go to the gas station, you spend... $24.50. It takes that 50 cents, rounds it up to 25, takes the 50 cents and puts it in a savings account. So I have a question. Is it with any bank or just with Capital One? Any, no, no, it's any bank. Capital app. It's, a, it's not it's a, a, it's, 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 it's app. They yeah, it's not a bank. Oh, not yeah. Capital One. It's called no. Capital. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Cool. I have to download that. Yeah. Bank of America used to do it, but they got rid of that. Mm-hmm. Bank of America yeah. is mm-hmm. scammers. Lost like, them. I'll tell right you. Right there with Wells Fargo. Look into whatever mm-hmm. bank that you going to get because... <laughs> And then also, yeah, oh, Wells right there with Wells Fargo. I left Wells Fargo because at one As point I was like, are y'all trying to steal my money? They was doing some sketchy <laughs> oh, shit. And Bank of America was getting a check in the mail. Bro, nice. Bank of America is doing some mm. sketchy shit. And I just be like, bro, there's no way. Why mm. am I being, sh- no, why am I being charged yeah. for this? Like, no. At this point, given that what we talked about in today's society, would y'all be willing to take a, a minor pay cut for like a greater outcome somewhere down the line? You know, I feel like I would. I've done it. I, I feel like I, I would. It. Just We've because, like, for it. me, so, like, I was even talking to somebody the other day, and and I was just saying, like, honestly, because he was just like, oh, like, you know, like, what you do is so this and da 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 And I was like, honestly, but, like, you love what you do. And I was like, I what I do is cool. But at the end of the day, do I love mm-hmm. it? Absolutely not. Mm-hmm. I feel like I do it because it pays the bills. So I was just like, honestly, like, 
if I had the opportunity to take a pay cut and absolutely love what I do, I would. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like, because I think for me, um, I probably would never take a pay cut, Mm -hmm. to be completely honest with you. Like, and don't get me wrong. I might take a pay cut in regards to like, okay, that one job, but I'm also going to supplement that with something else. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, I might go down but it, it also depends i'm mm-hmm. not taking major major pay cuts. no like i yeah. can't i'm not taking 20k I'm not going 30k 20 a year yeah. i'm not never, i'm not doing never. that type yeah. of thing like i just can't yeah. it's, it's especially actually, not at this age it's not like, really it's not, yeah, it's yeah, not no, happening that's, that's, like, that's, like, that's, that's, yeah, i don't I, what opportunity could that be <laughs> I, I agree with nikki like <laughs> I, I can't take a pay cut ever that's not an opportunity it just depends on what and it's so funny because like there's a lot of times where i just i want to like just go back to school and obviously we're going back to school like at a higher degree like a phd or even a doctorate like you have to you cannot work yeah, me too. And no, so that's I agree. Like, and that's what's hitting yeah. me. Some programs like, require you to be working. Yeah. And I have a friend in a so, program now, and she has to work. And it's like, so you have crazy, to maintain a whole like, job. It's so crazy because, like, the job, like, what I'm actually looking at, I can't work. So mm-hmm. that's actually what I've been struggling with because right. I'm like, dang, like, can I afford to, to like, not work not for, work for years three at a time. years? Like, and that's, that's hard. A lot. Right. Like, I gotta be married, child. Yeah, that, I was about to say, you, you really need a husband at that point. I gotta be married, child. God has to support you real because <laughs> I can't do that on my... And I, I said that a long time. realistically, like, I cannot, like, obviously, like, you can save as much money as you want, but you still need, like, either somebody supporting you no, or like, you need a consistent that's income. Saying, it's so that's, important. The, <laughs> it's like, it's so, it's beneficial, honestly, yeah. for both parties, but... So, yeah. If you want to go, you know, get a new degree, the career degree like okay so, oh, so. Chill. Go ahead. I was say I want to transition to yeah, the next question Me so too. I want to ask yeah, like okay <laughs> no, okay so I want to ask y'all since we talked about marriage a little bit like how would y'all feel about mm-hmm. like okay cutting costs would you live with a man Okay, and I'm not talking about just a random man who is like, you know, obviously if like it's a good relationship is going somewhere like you see this person is obviously responsible not somebody's going to leave you on the street mm-hmm. or kick you out on the street like this makes sense. Mm-hmm. So, like, do you feel like if the situation makes sense, you would go ahead and move in? I just because it's like we've all lived with men, though. Have we? I think never about lived it. with a man. unofficially. Speak for unofficially, <laughs> speak for yourself. Oh, I have okay. never. I've never, never unofficially never. lived with a man. <laughs> Neither have I. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, we're not. Take me out. No, no, yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're on your own, yeah. buddy. No, no. I don't think I've even spent more than three days. No, I've been a week. A week max. Like a week max. No, I stayed a week. No, I had a bag. That's going to the top of the floor. No, it ain't. I had a bag. I had a bag. I, no. I, I definitely no, had a bag. Okay, what I mean Spend is that you, bag, you, you I left. never dating somebody. Luggage. You ever dating somebody who you've been over there so much that it's like, damn, you low-key. Like, we know how soon Not enough. Yeah, but it's not, I don't, not enough on anything. So it's not my So back to the question. Not enough to contribute bill money. Yeah, like, because I mean, Oh. A grocery oh, money either. Yeah. I've never contributed anything. I've never, like, okay, y'all, back to, the question, back to the question. Back to the question. Back to the question. Put money towards groceries in a fridge. I'm back to the question. If I'm I've living never, with my man, I'm not doing that, though. No, I know, but no, I'm, I'm just saying so I've never done thing. that. I think in this time and age, actually, we have we to are start going doing to be those. doing oh, that. Really? Oh, yes. Yeah. Like, I think that if, wow. I, I really think How if you're making money, then. That's I feel like if you're making the decision, your partners. I think that if you're making the decision, to live with a significant other to save there's no way that y'all can't share some type of bill yeah. together okay, I, I don't think that. it's one of those things where it's like like it's like it's, like different. An, it's not 50 50 it, 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 it may not be 50 50 <laughs> but it's gonna ha- you're gonna everyone. have to contribute something in some you way put coin somewhere because or go home because if that's the case then don't move it at all go together. home yeah. go, no go i home. agree oh okay i agree that, yeah because like i'm not gonna like, like I thought we was moving in out of love. I didn't know we was moving in for, to save money. No, in this economy, so, it's, 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 a lot of you are moving oh, together to save so, okay. money. This is a desperation. Okay, but let's, let's, let's get back context. to the question, y'all. The question okay. was, if the situation makes sense and the, and you were moving in to cut costs, would you do it? I mean, obviously you love the man. I hope I would hope okay, so. Okay, so we're cutting costs. He's cutting costs. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I thought I'm not going to lie. Can I be real? I'm living. I'm not going to be moving in a... I know this is gonna sound terrible, but I have family, so I'm not gonna move with a man to cut his costs down. I'm so sorry. I'm just not cut his costs. No, no cut your costs. No, wait, that's wait, actually wait. what's happening. No, no, that, I'm no, cutting I cut his costs. His cost. No, that, but wait. that's what's happening. I'm not How cutting because he, he lived on his out. own, and now, now I'm moving. Now I'm in. moving. I'm contributing so to bills. Is- Oh, yeah, I would contribute okay, my family yeah, yeah, bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, what? Y'all are doing a lot. No, 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 no. We're being realistic here. No, no. I'm not saying to cut his cost. 
But that's what you're essentially doing. But you said that is, we have to move together has, to save money. I actually oh. had that argument with like a group of guys before, and they pretty much were just like, I don't understand what women's issue is with going 50 50 in regards to when <sighs> a couple moves in together. They were like, because you were doing it 100, 100 by yourself. So now why are I you am comfortable your nose doing up? that with my husband? No, I know. And so that was the argument like yeah. back and forth. The girls was just kind of like, I can do it on my own, but like, no, if you see, I don't, I'm not there. <laughs> I'm not all, I can do all bad by myself. That's not my narrative. No, but that's not, <laughs> but I need a she, man. No, but <laughs> what she's saying is, it's like, why, okay, so that's what I'm saying. So she's actually speaking to what the men are saying towards y'all. Like, okay, so if a man, okay, make, y'all, say, Nikki, <laughs> there's not a y'all, cut me out of that conversation. I said what I, I said. Bro. I said what I said. This I'm is not what I'm putting, saying. making a man's pockets smaller. So okay. if y'all were doing it, if y'all were doing it 100% by yourself, what is the issue now to only do it 50% I, with someone I else there? I get it. With my husband, I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm going home. I'm not going to do I'll, it. I'll be, I'll be completely, I'm not doing it. I'll be Sorry. completely, be I'll, I'll just be completely honest, right? If I'm living on my own, paying my bills and doing fine, then you're not doing fine. In this situation, you're, you're not doing oh, fine. I'm, I'm, then I'm not, go I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, and that's just me. I would probably move back with my parents before I moved in with a nigga that because I can't afford to live on my own. I just think you're just putting too much yeah. of. I, I don't know. No, it's no, not no, about we're, we're, we're having, having a real let's, conversation yeah, yeah, but here. Let, let, let's take out. You can't afford to live. I said to cut costs. I didn't but, say you but can't Nikki afford to live. But Nikki just said you can't afford to live by yourself anymore. You're struggling to cut costs. Let's take that out. But can we really speak to what's the world conversation? The world people can't afford to live on their own anymore. So we got to really speak to what's going on in the world. Okay, I would just say for that. For me, only because like. I'm putting too much financial like responsibility or my financial well-being into somebody else's hand. So if I know I can 100% cover this whole rent by myself, whether this man is here or not, I'm not going to move in with a man unless, like you said, we're engaged and we're in it for the long run because relationships are very temporary. So what if I move in with him and I can't afford this rent if he's not here? Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah, no. I'm not signing up for it. Again, that. but that's why I feel like in relationships, I'm not a 50 50 person. I'm more of a 100 100 person. Like, yeah. if I can cover it 100% right. of the way, if you can cover it 100% yeah. of the way, but it's if, a partnership. But if we both can't afford it alone right. and we, we're, we don't we're need to be relying on each to other split. to do it together, that's Because now you're forever going to be in that situation. No, let's let's actually go back to our respectful home yeah, and save and up. regroup. Let's regroup. We don't have to struggle together. I don't want to struggle with a man. And I know a man don't want to struggle with me. So, yeah. y'all, like, I know it's funny, but it's real. Like, ladies, no, it's we are, should not be struggling with men. No, I agree with you. Like, it's only funny because this question just went so much further than what I intended it sorry, to Sorry, this is life, like, though, because a lot of women are with men struggling. No, I, you yeah. don't need to be with a man struggling. That's so backwards. Go, go. Now, mind go you, let, let me. Okay, sorry, but if I was just madly in love with a guy again, if I moved to him, it would be for love. It wouldn't be for financial reasons. Yeah, yeah. That would just be it. I, that's that, just me that's personal. The, yeah, like, if. But like, still, I just love you. And okay, the point. bonus is. It's less money. It's like a cherry on the top. In with people to now cut your costs down. You need to regroup and figure it out because y'all are gonna be stuck in that situation forever. Sorry, I mean, there's just not to talk bad on people who make those decisions. I'm not talking bad about just this honest truth. Nikki, <laughs> you look disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, sorry, sorry. Is that what he said? I'm not trying to be rude about I it. Mean, it's just realism. I think that. <sighs> I think that things are a little bit easier said than done. Yeah, exactly. I, I, and I, I'm and letting y'all know right there. now. But just, okay, but we don't need to cut it. But I, I do have a genuine question, though, because let's say even for the sake of love, you move in with a guy. Like, shit is it's expensive, so you're going to yeah. sit in a man's house. Like, not, not like that, because it's y'all's place together, but like, Given the times that we're in, like right. you don't want to pick up the tab anywhere. Like I'm, I'm not for that. Oh, geez, I said, I'm gonna well, pick up the tab with my husband. I'm not. I'm not talking that. about. We're talking about boyfriend. I'm not moving with. I've said that several times. I'm not moving with <laughs> boyfriend. I think that's what we, the, the confusion okay. of the conversation. But I can never yeah. just live with somebody. And given the times that it is not contribute point. anywhere Absolutely. else. Like I think that's like a little selfish. I, I wouldn't mind contributing. What I'm saying is, I'm not moving it with somebody with the intention of us going down the middle. Like that's not like it's just crazy. Like I'm not moving. I'm not that. Yeah, I'm not minimizing his bills. Yeah, because like, you were just living on your own, and now I'm coming. And now in I'm and coming like, to, no, to boost what your savings. Oh, it's not. I don't know. I, it's <laughs> like, oh my gosh, no. And see, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm like. The only reason I'm laughing because I'm like this conversation. Is not, that's what I'm just like. I'm, the conversation that I'm thinking in my head, a man would never even. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what, not even up for debate. So what what, what like, exactly did you want out of this conversation? That's, I feel like we're not really fulfilling. You're not. This and it's no, okay. Crystal, you answer. Like, Please answer. <laughs> well, again, I don't even know how to explain the question because y'all have dissected this question. So I don't even know what it yeah. means. Crystal, so, don't explain the question. No. You answer your own question. From, yeah. From when you first read it, do I even know what I asked? At? Do I even know what I asked? Like at this point, again, this question so has been me, dissected to the in point. order to but, cut the cost of living, no, would you look, move with a significant other? 
I would. I would too. Yeah. And and but to cut the cost of living, and, and I'm speaking from perspective of mm. we are not struggling. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. and the, we're not saying cut the cost of living because it makes economically sense. Mm-hmm. But we're not struggling. Like, I have a job. People he has are a job. Like, to if a man, it just no. makes more but sense. But if a man comes together. to you and says, mm-hmm. "Come live here, 100 percent free." You're still saving y'all are, money. Y'all, y'all are gonna. You're I'm still going gonna to contribute. Y'all really even get up and pack your stuff and go in that I house? I will run. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm going. <laughs> I would. If I'm you going. tell me I don't have to pay anything, I can trick. just sit inside. It, and that's what I'm thinking. It's a free, it's a free so lodging. That, and that's what I'm trying to like. But like I said, nothing tricked me. Listen. But like I said, I told y'all. Y'all both told you. Nothing is free in this life. But that's what I'm saying. So you'd rather pay for it? I would rather. This is the thing. As soon as, as soon as you mess up, get out. The wow. mo- like, <laughs> oh, next thing you know, you're and homeless. And I'm homeless. Excuse me. I'm not homeless. Can I, homeless I'm not homeless. Really, homeless is crazy. I have, my I have family. So, have, so that's, like, that's my thing. It's like, if it doesn't work out, I will go home. Like That's, that's like, why I'm you not, should never put yourself in those positions anyway. Because even if you can't go home, best believe I'll be somewhere. But that's what my own shit. Like, that's like, why I would do it. Because I, I feel like I'm not coming. too much pride to allow someone to put me out and then have to go home. That's what I'm saying. I'm not coming back. I'm no, not. I'm not I don't want to put myself in a situation for someone. I'm not gonna beg, out. and then you're gonna watch me go home. No, no I'm putting myself no, in a fucking no. my own place. That's what's in my pride. I have too much pride for me to move on someone that is in my mind that's gonna oh. be kicking me out. Yeah, like no. you gotta think that's positive. Also, you gotta think positive. Yeah, exactly. I think that will see y'all. I just y'all don't think y'all tripping. tripping because I said we don't think you're tripping. It's like I feel like the world's gonna think I'm tripping. No, I know they y'all are. are. They are because because y'all reframe the question so many times. But I'm not gonna lie. Y'all made it seem like y'all was gonna do nothing. That's how y'all made it. Yeah, no, okay, no, 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 let listen. me make it clear. Y'all clarify, but you definitely, yeah, no, no, y'all let me make it clear. Okay. Okay. Thank you. you know, let yeah. me make yeah. it clear Cheers. from my mouth. I'm not moving in with a boyfriend. We heard you. And I'm, pay, and I'm, paying, I'm minimizing your expenses. We heard you. I've said you. that several times. But that's, okay. With my husband, we are partners. Okay. I don't mind doing my own. What's up? That's my man. That's my husband. We have a family and empire to take care of. But boyfriend? No. And me? But that's what I'm saying. No. Like, what's the okay, difference? Okay, okay, okay. Stop hold saying on. what's the difference. Hold There's on, a big difference. Hold There's on. a big no, difference. No, so let me just I'm, say I gotta this. say what I gotta finish. You have yeah. an on paper commitment. Thank you. No, but my, state, my statement is it's like we're not just saying this is just somebody you, you started dating three months ago. We're saying that this is somebody that, that you, you love, are committed to, that you, exactly. that you are serious with. So it at the end of the day, matter. y'all are looking at... Did y'all hear this to the moto? You, yeah. No, I see. And, and you're not I hearing like, me. That's no, no, no. Like, I hear cool, Paulette, sorry. but I feel Turn like where, we, where we're kind of like, where the gray area is, is that you keep saying to cut his costs. That's what I'm That's saying. That's what like, you're doing. I'm, I'm sorry. Paulette, someone's going to feel me. Someone's if you're If you're not paying any bills... There's no cuss being I'm not saying no. You for, see, that was you're my intention. What I said, but that was the ramifications of my right. question. Oh, okay. So, so that's you. what I'm saying. Like, of course, that's no a factor. I'm not, like, I'm not you're moving in because it just makes so I'm not sense. Oh, oh, you're reason. saying you're moving in and you're not paying anything. Yes. yes. Like, I okay, did not just say you, that. I, I, I thought you said that's a bad thing. I never said it was a bad but thing. But y'all did I say do. that if you move in with someone not paying anything. Okay. I don't think I don't think that you should move in into a place and you don't do anything. I agree. I, that's what I'm saying. That's I, that's and that's I, I'm not telling and, y'all, and man, I'm not telling y'all, I'm not to telling y'all that. to go half Who on the rent. I'm not saying that, but you might pick up a light bill. Uh-uh. Or you see, might pick see, up a, yes, you might pick up a, a water bill. See, you are Grocery. oh baby, grocery something. No, but I'm just saying. Or maybe you pay you for the cleaner monthly no, something. See, but like, the, the reason the reason why that's not pick me is because people are paying five thousand dollars monthly for a mortgage. Right. So to to move into someone's house rent free and you expect you're adding on to bills you're I'm, not yeah, it's not they, like they you're move in. it's not like you're a piece of dust <laughs> they don't ask me to move yeah. in. it's not like you're a piece of dust and don't you don't add in. to electricity you don't add but to water you I, don't add to I sewage. said what I said and nothing's oh, no. gonna change like, but so my thing is, let me, let me just add bills. something else I think that even them. if you're not paying <laughs> in something you're going to like Nikki said nothing is free so you're going to add to the like the the maintenance of the house so even if you're gonna cook let's say you're gonna cook you're gonna clean even if he has kids you may watch him doing his laundry you're gonna watch him actually Oh, so y'all want to move and be a maid. Because that's what, that's what he's going to be expecting out of you. So, okay, I, I now contradiction in the chat. Oh, my he's God. Gonna, no, no, no. He's okay. going to be expecting that out let's of you. Move on, guys. Because let's you move can't, you can't, no, you can't think. No, I'm be, be honest. You can't expect <laughs> to move into a man's house and not pay anything. And he's not going to be expecting <sighs> right. a meal right. on the table. Right. He's going to be expecting his clothes wash. going to do it. I guess I was confused because y'all literally keep, like, and I'm just harping on this. We can move over after that. Y'all keep saying, like, I'm not moving in to lower his expenses. But, like, you moving in increases expenses. So why would you in some areas not want... 
I know. Let me ask Michelle. Okay. Okay. I was gonna keep saying okay. the same thing. Okay. 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 Like, you're gonna, if, y'all are saying if y'all moving, y'all, y- y'all don't want to decrease his, but it's like y'all are gonna increase his. So why not do something? But in also, the y'all. That's okay. Paulus. I think me and Paul are also saying two different things. Me, I'm saying finances are not going to be the motivator of me moving in with a man. It's mm-hmm. just not. It's, mm-hmm. when, when we boil down to it, if we're talking realistic, I mean, y'all know me as a person. I probably will not live with a person who I'm not married, married to. to. Yeah. And, it, and if, if I choose to, or if I end up in that situation, it's not because I needed to like financially do better. It's going to be like, I really fuck with him. I'm yeah. here all the time. I might as well live here. That's going to be it. Yeah. But as far as like, Cutting his expenses and doing all this stuff and moving in with the guy that's going half on rent, that's probably oh, not going to happen because before I go half on rent. But that's what you're no, doing. I agree. No, 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 I'm just being completely honest. I, before I go half on a rent, I, mm. I'd rather just live on my own. And I understand what you're saying. Like, okay, well, if you're living with a guy, are you going to contribute? Y'all know me. If I'm living with a guy and doing all this stuff, yeah, I'm going to contribute a lot yeah. to the household. Will I be contributing a lot financially? Probably not. And that has a lot to do with the type of people who I choose to date, a lot to do with how I was raised. I do not that believe part. in like moving in with somebody and contributing that much to, to the bills if we are not a joint household. Mm-hmm. That part. That's just mm-hmm. me. And, and like, we're all is, I don't want it to, to come like I'm not domesticated. I don't want it. It's, no, I that. just don't want to sit here and be doing something mm-hmm. I'm not in a holy matrimony mm-hmm. with. It doesn't but make sense. That, and to I think me. that for us, I think that we're all speaking from a perspective of we have multiple options to go mm-hmm. back to. There are a lot of people out here that don't have those options. A lot of people don't have parents' houses that they can go back to. A lot of people, it is this them. So people are doing a lot of things, especially in this economy, out of dire need. So that's where I that's where I'm thinking. But I'm also not demonizing that. That's why I'm yeah. being very clear as far as like y'all ask me personally, more than likely, I didn't even say I wouldn't do it, but finances is not gonna be the reason why you see yeah, me living yeah. with a guy. Yeah. Like if you see me with a guy, it's not gonna be yeah. like, oh, okay, what's financially smart for me to do that? No. Yeah. If I don't really fuck well, with you and love you, I'm not love doing it. Myself. Yeah, like, I love it here. There's no point. No. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. yeah. That took a left turn. You know? But I'm glad I'm we glad all kind of... Because I feel like we, in so many different ways, we're all saying the same thing. No, we, we, so we, we, are. we, we really are. We really are. are. In so many we different really ways, are. we're all saying we the same are. thing. I, Paulette, we really are. what we did are. I not say that you... I agree with she, what you said. I'm not doing that. Let's, and that's what I'm saying. I'm not coming from a perspective where I'm coming in and pay... Like, no, we're, we're like, not... I didn't... I don't, if I'm not paying a bill, I am... Like Michelle said, I'm going to be doing something to contribute to the house. I wouldn't even feel like being in somebody's place. I would not. That's what I'm saying. It's a trick. I think Even like when you stay with guests, you clean up after yourself. Like, I was just so out of place. Nothing comes free. You think so? Really? Nothing comes free. I'd be on vacation? Nothing comes free. I'll be honest with you. You think I'll be on vacation in another man's house? Nothing comes free. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Nothing. And you gotta no, do something. You gotta do something. And, 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 I, and you might be doing flips in the bedroom. You're gonna be doing something. No, you're that's going something. to be doing that's something. That's Stay something. on your own then. Honestly. Stay on your own. Because that's that ridiculous. Does, mm, that does come with a lot. <laughs> like, let's be Honestly, to... it's cool. You know what? You know what? Okay, Netflix, Hulu, baby. <laughs> yeah, thank Paramount. You know what I'm saying? Something. Those are something. <laughs> that's something. Even if you. Oh, man. Oh. Okay. Toe tag, baby. Put it in my name. Like, you know, toe tag. Right? I, mean, I feel like we can even bring like Miami and like the Diddy situation mm-hmm. into this. Like, can we? She was making yes. $250,000 a month. That's apparently. what I'm saying. Like, people think that like she was going on these shopping sprees for free. Nah, it wasn't gross. like it came at some type of cost. Allegedly. Right. D- allegedly. She was having to do something allegedly. She was a whole it. drug meal. Allegedly. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we have to think about these things. Like, yeah. Everything that glitters is not gold. Mm-hmm. I, I know. That's that's where I that's how I look at it. Like nothing is free in this life. So I don't. And anyone that tries to offer that to me, I'm like, okay. So what's the catch? Mm, yeah. Because there's a catch somewhere. You're paying Ooh-wee. bills. Ooh-wee. I mean, Ooh-wee. if I have to pay a bill, that's fine. I, I've been doing it by myself for thirty years. But also imagine like you you have an apartment, you do have an apartment, and you're paying us, and you're like, damn, I'm never there. Like I'm lucky, wasting money. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yep. And that's what I meant. Exactly. That's what I meant from the the angle yeah. of the question. I'm just like, dang, like. You know, we might but as well be together. We're gonna be doing this. You might yeah, as well. like, mm-hmm. but I don't want him to be like, yeah, move, move, move. Yeah, the next marry me. No, no he's like setting up bills. No, no, yeah, no, like, no, oh, this no. is what you're saying. And, and honestly, I, I also for. ask like, that from perspective of y'all. Like, I know what kind of man we all think, date. Like, let's yeah. actually be very serious here. Like, yeah. come on now. Yeah, yeah. I also He'll think that like, thank you. Like, none, none of the men. Let's be serious, ladies. It never hurts to ask. What are your expectations of me moving in this household? It never hurts to ask because you think you know somebody, but that is a question you have to ask because when. You, mm-hmm. If it tries to switch up, we have because a I'll be honest with you. You gotta think about it. If someone was in your house every day and you're Doing waking nothing, and you're waking up 
every day and you're going to work, is you're going to start to have some type Exodus. of like animosity yes. towards that person. Yes. Because I'm if you come home. back home and the and dishes is in the sink, the your, the dog didn't shit it somewhere, you didn't clean. The house like, ain't clean. Come on, There's bro. no food. The tra- like, There's no groceries. You take the trash out. And then you get up every morning and you, you go. go to take your ass to work. And you going to be mad. And even if you go in your office and you, you're downstairs working remotely, still taking your ass to work, you're going to be mad. Yeah. Like there's going to be some type of like turmoil there. I'm telling you. Like, no. Facts. Yep. I agree. This girl just broke up with her boyfriend for that. She said, I got tired of waking up. She said, I'm sorry. I'm going to tell this real quick and be done. It was her last straw. Like he hadn't been working, trying to find a job. She was paying for everything. She ordered like them DoorDash or whatever. She ordered herself a donut. Never really eat sweets like that. She said her last straw with him was that he when the DoorDash came, he ate all the food Bro, and her donut. And he was like, I didn't know you ate donuts. She was like, it was in that moment where I realized <laughs> I have been supporting us for a year. We are done. Get the fuck you out. You gotta and go. I was just like, she was like, I would have never that thought it was behind is, a donut. That because she had been paying a, for everything. And then breaking, he ate it. Talk about you know, like he ordered legal. a muffin, all this type of shit. He, she was like, he ordered so much, and on top of everything, he ordered. He ate my my little donut. She was like, and I was done. I was like, sheesh, it'd be, it'd be taking See, stuff like, like that. I don't, I, I know this sounds crazy, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want like that's marriage, trials and tribulations with a boyfriend. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, I don't want that. Like, no, I'm no. not going to lie to you. That's kind of scary. No, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, and then him eating a donut is what made you snap out of no, snap back into reality. It's not it's what not him eating. Like, 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 like that. Like straw. that's cr- like that's, that's, that's the, the I would have been. Yeah. I would have. Be, he would have yeah. been out. Yeah. It's like, like that. Um, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of. Um, did y'all ever watch Mia Culpa? Mm-mm. The Tyler oh, Perry. Oh, movie? I did. I did. I tried, yeah, and bro. that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of like Kelly Rowland, her husband. Uh, like he had lost his job because he was addicted to drugs and like he was stealing mm-hmm. from work. He was like a whole physician. He was an anesthesiologist. Mm-hmm. And she's over here like supporting them, but he's expecting all these things from her, like these expectations mm-hmm. of her to like do all this stuff. But she's the one who's been supporting them for years. Mm-hmm. And his parents are think or his mom is thinking like it's the husband who's mm-hmm. doing who's supporting the whole household. Right. Like, that's like that's like that's not uncommon. Especially a lot of people. But cultures. no, the, the issue was that he lied to the mom about being fired. Fired. He, the mom still so thinks he's working. common with men. They're not going to ever tell their parents. You ain't going to be flicking. You, don't tell your you mom, better I'm tell your mom you lost your job he's so she know, know what's going on in this household. What? Before I do. Especially, you know. <laughs> There's a difference Anyways. between losing your job and being jobless for over a year. Yeah. yeah. I mean, jobless is such a funny word. <laughs> <laughs> Unemployed. Like That, that shit is rough, though. We are in hard times. But, like, you know. It's true. So, like, you are telling me, like, if you're spouse is unemployed you're going to tell their parents no for a year i'm just asking no if if, if i'm not going to tell their parents that you're contributing to this household and it's no, I'm just me asking, like, in general, and it's being rude to me t- no i'm just going to like bring it up like, no he i'm not going to yeah, tell the i'm not going to no. tell but tell. one thing i'm going to tell my parents but i'm yeah. telling your parents yeah, yeah. yeah. but one part. thing i'm not going to put up trust between you and your husband when i tell my mom my dad would be like is this a life you're living like see yourself like but there's one thing i'm not going to do i'm not going to put up with a man who's willing to lose a job and to not get money by any means. Mm-hmm. Like if you mm-hmm. gotta go work out if you gotta go work at Walmart, you gotta go work <laughs> at Walmart to be able to bring some type of income into the household. If you gotta tap in with PNC Bank. That's what I'm saying. If <laughs> you gotta be low tap in. If you gotta do anything by any means you should be making money. There's no reason why I should be getting up and walking past you on the couch oh, every morning. Please y'all, no, please, please, y'all, I mean please. I feel how men can start doing <laughs> illegal things. Mm-mm. So I was gonna ask. Okay, so now like with the whole like young Miami story and everything like that coming out, um, and with the economy we're in, would if if there was an option, would y'all be willing to like be a sugar baby if someone told you they like they're gonna give you like twenty k, fifty k a month? I'd be a sugar baby without it being a bad economy. Like why? Who wouldn't? Who would pass up free money? <laughs> no, <facts>. crazy question. <laughs> like, I, I, I mean, it's not free. free <clears throat> yeah, it's not free. You paying in some? Definitely I read mean, a story today about ladies. a girl who was in Dubai and she detailed well, how she got that fifty k in shopping spree, and mm-hmm. it sounded horrible. So, Aww. like you said, everything Dang. ain't coming to a cost. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Depends on I mean, the but that's true. Like, <laughs> like, sugar <laughs> He's not. Ooh, Anyways, he's let with that buddy make a bitch do. <laughs> we watched the audio and the video. We'll yeah, see we're, what they we're, said. We're take but, out. <laughs> I just feel like. I, I just feel like. You, duh, you're fucking him. That's pretty much. Yeah, what like, said, like I mean, you're already like. Yeah. A lot of. Never mind. It'd be more than just fucking, fucking rug niggas. It'd be more than just. Do y'all get me? Like it's like. Okay, now these people be getting demeaned. Nothing. 
it don't just be fucking. Having sex. They you know, you're getting, getting peed nothing. on. Peed on. They're dogging you out like a, a prostitute. Anyways. Well, guys, Hashtag thank you for poop. tapping in with us this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. We talked about it a lot. So tap tap in. Um, share everywhere. Thanks. This is your girl, Joy, signing out. Bye, y'all. It's your girl, Shell. Bye, everyone. It's Just Nick. Make sure y'all follow us on um, YouTube. Subscribe. This is your girl, Amakalette, signing out. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Amakalette. Holla. Bye, y'all. It's your girl, Crystal, a.k.a. Champagne Chris, checking out. Peace. Bye, everybody. Bye. Give me a P. Give me an E.